everybody! Have you heard about the Drunken Peasants Patreon? It helps support the show while getting you some cool perks. Check it out! For one dollar per month, you get to use our exclusive fan chat that appears at the bottom of the screen on every episode. For five dollars per month, you get two new private shows, including Actual Mania, as well as our back catalog of private shows, plus all lower tier perks. For ten dollars per month, you get all of our monthly video content. This includes multiple post shows, our monthly reviews, our back catalog of all that content, plus all lower tier perks. For fifteen dollars per month, your name will appear in the ending credits of each DP episode, plus all lower tier perks. For twenty-five dollars per month, you get to take part in our monthly booking committee hangout to help us book our Patreon content for that month, plus all lower tier perks. For thirty-three dollars per month, you get an exclusive piece of DP merch each month, plus all lower tier perks. For fifty dollars per month, you appear in the opening credits for each DP episode, plus all lower tier perks. For one hundred dollars per month, you get to join us as a guest on an episode of the Drunken Peasants podcast, plus you guessed it, all lower tier perks. Visit Patreon.com/dp now to become a patron of the Drunken Peasants podcast. In the beginning, there was nothing. The Drunken Peasants Podcast. I gotta get a with this. No! Say, man, you got a joint? Uh, no, not on me, man. I don't have facts to back this up. It'd be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> That's true. Sometimes I cry. Oh! Miss my butthole, he laughed. <laughs> From the strangest corners of the internet, here to bring you opinions of the world from an altered perspective, here are your hosts, the Drunken Peasants. Hello everybody, welcome to the Drunken Peasants Podcast, this is episode 1311, back again after a nice weekend. Welcome back, everybody. Please like the stream. Help us out uh, reaching our goal by using the link there in the chat. We're nearing the end of the month of February. There's still some time if you would like to have a sticker, the manatee crucifixion scene sticker or uh, at the $33 level or at the $50 level, you can get this cool manatee crucifixion scene shirt. Plus all lower tier perks if you sign up patreon.com slash dp. Sign up anytime before the end of the month to get that sent to you. And uh, by the way, those of you who have been waiting, we got a little delayed with sending the perks out the last few months. Those have all been ordered and shipped uh, as of two days ago. So the, the people waiting for your December and January perks, those are on the way right now. They're, they, they were shipped and on the way. They're, they're going to arrive in the same package. So there's that. Uh, yeah, uh, like the stream. I don't think I need to say too much more. Uh, we're, so we, we got we got William the Fridge. If, if you had to describe the actual mania that we just witnessed uh, this past Friday without spoilers, what were, what would be like three words you would use to describe it? Brilliant. Radiant, and uh, what was the other one that Charlotte's Web used to describe the pig? <laughs> so it's a pig. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, I don't want to give spoilers, but it's heating up over there. It's uh, it's probably the best era of actual mania ever. Minus yeah, the, the time, only thing- minus the time I was world champion, of course. The only thing that would make it any better is if we just randomly got like someone with Down syndrome beating everybody. That'd be That'd be awesome. I thought that but it's was going really well. I thought that was the beginning when Egghead was undefeated. <laughs> no, Egghead's not. Oh. Egg, I, I, no stolen valor, dude. If we're gonna have <laughs> Robert Downey syndrome, it's gonna <clears throat> be the real syndrome, not just some half-hearted, scrambled Egghead. Okay. Egghead is the singer of a system of a down cover band called Syndrome of a Down. Oh. Yeah. I didn't know that. Wake you up! Have a very good singing voice. <laughs> Some oh. pig. That's how I would describe it. Yes, some pig. Some pig. All right, we're gonna check out the latest developments in the Cobraverse. We go back oh, to sh- having Billy on every episode. He's the sweetest of boys. He's a sweet boy. Yeah. Lord Magicus. Especially the ones you're on, Magicus. Somewhere in the world today, men have got 
All right. I, the thumbnail was inspired by this video that I saw. I guess this comes from the King Cobra subreddit. It's great. Actually, they should make this into a series where it, it, they can call it The Bog, you know? And instead of The Borg, The Bog. I it's great. They could edit it into so many episodes of Star Trek. They could use like any time they bring the Borg up on screen, you know, or or they could do like they could put like Cobra's face on a bunch of different Borgs all at so once. It's a, it's a Star Trek parody. Yes, and it, it's like the whole Borg collective could be King Cobras. Like if you get assimilated by the Bog, you just become a King Cobra clone. You won't go live, We're being held by the Borg. On screen. I'm wearing them down. <laughs> and Riker's like, what the fuck? Dude, this is so good. No, the trolls can't handle it when I get a girlfriend. It just drives them nuts. Energy discharge in six seconds. It's kind of like when uh, my audio shit messes up and I sound like the Dalek from Doctor Who. Yeah, it's like every lol cow is a sci science fiction counterpart. Firing, sir. The Borg ship is undamaged. You don't tell them what you're doing. It's not very effective, is it? Looks like they're regenerating, restoring power. They could be capable of warp any minute. Cobra Back from commercial break. Sad fucking life. Otherwise, you wouldn't care if I go live. You wouldn't care. The Borg ship is moving away. I digress. <laughs> I digress. <laughs> I digress. Pursuit. <laughs> it wasn't that good. I like how Clint's always the executive producer. I have no idea what went on. Did they win? Well, it's a cliffhanger. It's a Clint Saunders. It's a Clint hanger. That's what life is about. What do you do, YouTube? Y'all need to leave Jessica the fuck alone. It's so, Cobra made it official on his facebook uh he if you go to cobra's facebook it says he's in a relationship and he has it linked to her uh facebook too so he's all in so you might as well like if you're a fan of cobes you might as well just accept this right Billy? unless you're also a girl named jane who is g running a gofundme to fly out to casper for cobra's birthday i to believe what a real woman is i believe she already closed the gofundme because she said someone offered to pay to for it already yes get her into but, casper but that doesn't mean that's gonna happen right i mean as far as i'm concerned anything can happen because i'm getting tired of this crap we're gonna smoke ourselves a marble southern, I mean, southern cut. I mean, Cobra said, like, he regrets cheating worse than anything he's ever done. Yeah, but how does he know he really regrets it if he doesn't do it again? <laughs> I 
The only person you can truly cheat is yourself. I have no idea who the fuck this Jane Doe chick is. Are- Someone in the chat says it was confirmed to be a troll. So we a fucking troll setting up a. Uh, That's what Joe Chip says. Who I am pretty sure is a confirmed troll. troll. Jessica, That's what it is. I've never spoken to a chick of that name. I don't know who the fuck it is, but allegedly it's some fangirl of mine. But I'm spoken for. If you wanted Cobra that badly, you could have had me in the last six years. <laughs> there you go. He gave everybody ample time. Fucking truth. No, Jessica's already getting sick of it too, man. You need to leave her the fuck alone, like. Why are you guys going after his lady? Why are you doing that? He's sensitive about this shit, dude. He's in love. Troll, trolls can't allow King Cobra to be happy because their miserable lives can't allow them to be happy. I'll tell you what it is. My YouTube trolls can't get laid. They've never been laid. Did he? I love how he set up his shot where like he's cut off from the nose up. Oh, oh, that one uh, sputtered. I told these trolls to suck my fucking ass crack. I fucking told them. What if you had like a really expensive bottle of champagne, but to drink it, it had to get poured through Cobra's ass crack, but it was free. No. Uh, no, fangirl. No. You could have made your fucking move. That, that takes it from an expensive champagne to something that went through this guy's ass crack. That's such a weird question. Eh, I think I'd drink it. it. I don't think you would. I don't think you actually would. I think you're posturing a lot. In the last six depends years, on, they're probably depends on how his butt, if his butt was clean, like if it was freshly showered, I'd do it. Did not come forward because of my fucking asshole trolls. It is what it is. That and my YouTube trolls' girlfriends, YouTube, are so ugly. Huh? My YouTube bullies' girlfriends are so fucking. Bu- he always has that weird mark in the palm of his hand. I don't know what it is. You can see it clearly. It's a circle all the time. I don't know what it is. It, does he have you stigmata? Think, it, it, you think he? You think he like would burn his hand? with lighters because it's th- something the edgy kids would do often like, I think he's, back in the day. I think he's so secretly religious that he took on the wounds of Christ because he is the most saintly man to be walking the earth, but he can't he can't advertise it. He has to pretend to be a follower of Satan because the people can't know his true piousness in the eyes of the I Lord. Sw- I swear to God, Ben, if you call him Padre Pito, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run I away. I don't do that. Do I that. no, 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 no. You- That's not my shtick. Busted. Okay. And they treat their man yeah. like shit. I'm not gonna steal the Pito's Taking your problems out on Cobra is not gonna fix your don't fucking worry. problem, YouTube. I don't do that. <laughs> okay. The fucking truth. That was a hilarious Padre Pio joke, by the way. Everybody watching at home, write that one down. That was that was historical joke number one from Bill Fridge today. We're gonna we're gonna be hitting him with all the deep cuts. We're going through. Here's history. a new food hack. We're gonna start off with the Jimmy Ding breakfast cheese egg sausage croissant sandwich. How does that look raw and cooked at the same time? <laughs> That's. What's in his freezer? He's got frozen Jimmy Dean sausage and egg and cheese croissants. Yeah. I've never seen him eat this. Has that been in there for like three years or something? Has it? I want to know like how much shit King Cobra moved from his freezer in his last apartment to this one and still hasn't eaten it. Oh, I, I doubt stuff lasts that it's long. Some shit lasts in your freezer for a very long time. Stuff like that, though, those are like deep hit items. 
Arch. Go Daughter Archive with the Super Chat. Yeah, I got these uh, Johnsonville cheddar. Oh, yeah. I used to cheddar. eat those all the time in my trash days. Johnsonville. You ever eat those? It's like injected with cheese, right? Yep. They're real sick little nasties. That's they're, gross. They're the best. Like, why not? So, like, why do I need the cheese in the sausage? I could just put it on the Here's sausage. Here's some money for the sweet boy. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Billy. Love the Drunken Peasants <laughs> Thank podcast. you so much. <laughs> By the way, get... the video is almost done. The it's It's been a very ambitious video. It's three and a half hours edited down from nearly 10 hours of footage. It's from my time in Portland back in October. Me and Jeff went to the Portland Gaming Expo. Crazy shit happened where we saw a crackhead fight and all kinds of other stuff uh i had a meltdown at a bar because these ladies pissed me off you can see it all you'll uh it'll be available starting next month it'll be done next time next time you do one of these you should release it in like quarters give like the first quarter like the first month and then as time goes by you can just get pieces of it out there yeah, I, I think that might be a good play. this one has been um because i put music at uh I added uh, voiceovers to like to certain parts and music to certain parts, so it's been craziness. Hot dogs, so you got a little bit of cheese in the middle. Got some of this goddamn bacon grease in the thing. What? You can Is buy something thing? called bacon well, up? If you are required to donate to DP if you love the sweet boys, here's my tithe. Where Thank the rest you. of you brokies at? Wokies. Yeah. Yeah, Go listen to Garcia. And we're gonna show in. A uh, dollop of our bacon grease. Grab our knife. Throw a little bit of grease in there. That a little extra won't hurt. Little extra won't hurt. Then we're gonna take one of these hot dogs. We're gonna cut it into four sections. If you're making two of these sandwiches, one will make plenty of it. This will give us a little extra snack while we're waiting. A little extra snack? He's snacking, Ben. Waiting for it to cool off, that is. There's zero cut lacking the in Cobra stacking. And the four pieces straight down the middle, just like that. So then I want to cut it. Like oh, that looks that ah, looks so okay. this looks like a snuff film set. Yeah, Look at his. at first Go ahead. At first I thought it was going to be really bad. And then as he started cutting, I was like, "Oh, it's just the, the normal cobra material." It's a good good, good angle though. It looks it like look a snuffy. horror it, Yeah, 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 it's and You can see they got little bits of cheddar in there. But no, I, I if, if someone was like, what is this? I'd be like, a moldy carrot? <laughs> I don't know. No, no, I... Ben. Those are obviously cheddar scabs. <laughs> oh, God. Cheddar scabs made me gag for a second. <laughs> I couldn't. I... Oh. Place those. Slice. It looks like a moldy carrot slice or butternut squash that someone like dropped behind the oven and you forgot about and then you found it a month later those are johnsonville cheddar brats this, quite this like that. quality sausage experiences on top of our grease cut this in down the middle where'd you find this video my tax folder I'm going to take a little bit of that bacon grease. I'm going to smear a little bit of it on top of our pieces of hot dog. <laughs> he has a tripod, by the way. Someone left a comment on one of our recent videos where he was like, Stop saying Koba should use the tripod. Stop trying to change him. It's like, uh, I'm just... I just want him to use the tripod. We got to see the whole spread. Death by Snuff Snuff. Hold on a second. And by the way, yeah, that was Shani that left the comment. Shani for Christ? Yeah, because I used the, the same voice, basically. Oh. The last scoop that we did. 
She just wants you to leave King Cobra alone. I mean it. You're lucky he even performs for you. Is it excessive? Perhaps. Is it going to be tasty? Yes. I'll try this combination before with Bacon Ranch. They were out. So I'm going to you with regular ranch. It's still Hidden Valley though, so I'm not complaining. That's enough bacon grease for our recipe. I just realized now he's cooking on top of the stove, but he has something plugged in. He's not yeah. even using the stove. Yeah, it's like a hot plate of some sort. Brilliant. Like an electric skillet. Puts the skill in skillet. Now we're going to turn on the uh, fan to a low setting. Now we're going to turn that up. I'm going to cook these. I wonder when's the last time he cleaned this. I watched this film last night called uh, The Taste of Things. It's a, a fine French film based in the late 1800s following a, a nobleman and his, his house where he, 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 he cooks these beautiful meals for very well-to-do people. And um, going from that to this, I got to say, Cobra's kind of a gourmet. Those are cooking up. We're going to add some ingredients to our top. I got to look at that breakfast sandwich in, like, high definition. It looks so, gr like, something's wrong with it. It looks like it's made of clay. You're watching man. this. You can be watching this, man. It's going to be delicious. Unhealthy. Got your sweet-ass burgers. Took a fresh jar of our mayonnaise. Some signature select craft, whatever. Let's grab some mayo. I you was just thinking, switch. where's the mayonnaise? Carrots. I do want to say his food hacks have become less uh, busy. You know what I mean? Like, he is you think actually. People just stop sending him weird stuff so he hasn't been able to put it on things? I almost feel like. I don't know, maybe other people that he trusts told him he was going overboard, so now he's being more sensible. Because normally he'd be adding all kinds of ridiculous shit on top of this thing. Bun. <laughs> he, he puts all the ridiculous shit into his mead now. Huh. So right now, if he just ate this, this would be reasonable. He but could isn't add this just a breakfast sandwich. He could add like a layer of ham, like sliced ham. Uh, 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 well, he already has a sausage patty. He could probably even do another sausage patty. You know, he could, he could make a nice cordon bleu to put on top of it. Sizzle up. We gotta start to our sandwich with the mayo with the cheese right there, the egg and the Mayo side. is a weird uh, yeah, well, whatever. It's your um, preference. Let's give you the flavor. Mayonnaise is a forever lubricator in food. It's all around it. It makes its way to baking, it makes its way to grilling, it makes its way uh, from condiments to salads. It's really quite a powerful addition to a lot of culinary art. it's versatile at its base it's oil and eggs right i think so gotta flip them weenies boy Chuck 
So he's got a sausage patty, and then he's adding what are the 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 cheddar? Yeah, the cheddar sausages from Johnson's. Egg. Egg. I'm gonna add some of these sour cream cheddar potato chips. Gotta add the sour cheddies. Where are you gonna get that crunch without the sour cheddies, Ben? See these sour cream and onion, sour cream and cheddar potato chips. They're like a cheddar machete. They just cut straight to the taste buds. A machete? Flavor. A machete? A cheddar machete. Machete. We're gonna add a cap full of Red Hop Wings Buffalo Sauce. Frank's Red Hop. Under our chips. I didn't know where he was gonna go, but now with the Frank's Red. That's a little cap full of He's that gotta goodness. spice it up. Danny Trejo might be part Boglum. <laughs> Machete. I'm gonna have a sprinkle of mild Is that the Lucerne? PM. Luke uh, uh, Lucerne, sir? Are you saying that right? I don't know. How would you say it, Ben? Lucrane. Oh, well, I'm Lucrane. I'm obviously, I'm obviously too close to this Lucrane Russia conflict. <laughs> Whatever, shredded cheddar cheese. Did he say? Well, hold on. Did he was? Did he acknowledge that he says it wrong? I know he watches us. He's like he 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 does subscribe to us. Yeah. Which, by the way, Josh, if you're watching, I think you're a funny, entertaining legend. And, uh, but I don't agree with everything you say and do. I think I think you're a mad genius if you're watching. And anybody anybody who praises you doesn't give you enough praise. Not me. Not not the the, the pretty hot goth chicks that nope. smell you in the store. You need more praise. I can't give you enough, man. I can't. I'm going to have a sprinkle of mild to medium whatever shredded cheddar cheese. Got mild to medium whatever shredded cheese. So he didn't say Lucrane. <laughs> he, it's whatever. He's learning. He's learning. That's a medium here. Do a nice little uh, wad of that on top of our chips. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. So I think, uh, what, he got banned from Albertsons, so now he's shopping at Safeway instead? Which is the same thing, right? Yeah, but he got yeah, banned, like he got banned from the, the Albertsons. I don't know. We have both here, right? Like in the Met. Yeah, they're owned by the same company. Yeah, he just got trespassed from an Albertsons. I don't know. Extra on the side. Does that mean he's trespassed from all of, like all Safeway and Albertsons everywhere? Shout out to my homies in Lucrane. No. Lucrane. Lucrane. This Joe Chip guy who is obviously CIA glowy. You glow, Joe Chip. I'm calling you glow chip from now on. Right on your second button, I made the Lucrane joke first. Before any other Cobra comments are made it. Okay? I've, oh, I've no, been, no, I've no, been, no, no. I've been ahead of the curve. People I've have been made ahead that. Of the curve this entire time. People have made that I, Ukraine joke multiple times. I need, I need people to go back in time and, and understand I'm the one that coined highly regarded. I start this stuff and it catches on like wildfire. Don't tell me. I don't get basic Cobra knowledge. I'm not basic. I don't utilize basic terminology. I create. No, people have been making the Ukraine jokes for a while. Yes, after I did. No. We're going to the top bun with the chips and the sauce and the cheese with a little bit of Hidden Valley Ranch. 
My favorite ranch from Hidden Valley is their bacon ranch. Is the best I, I was wondering where the ever. ranch was. I don't. I, I don't really like ranch. Well, luckily, there's everything else on there to hide it. You, this this sandwich is perfect, Ben. I don't really get it. Like, I've really tried it, too. I, I'm not a fan. They were out when I ordered some, so I'm like, fuck it. At least it's hitting the valley. So there you go. Well, at least he's only using a little bit. <laughs> I was like, the little bit he put on, I'm like, all right, that's reasonable. And then he put on, like, three times more. <laughs> Uh, now, if that uh, was sausage gravy, if that was sausage gravy, this sandwich would be perfect. Let's give these smokies another flip. Do they sell sausage gravy in the bottle like that? I have no idea. A little bit longer on the other side, they should be going just fine. Tops of these are looking done, son. Two of these are going to go on the bottom bun right here. Then we're going to sandwich around the top bun. After we mark away, we can melt that cheese a little bit in the middle there. So I have to give that it's a second. A, this is Cobra's $6 burger. With no actual burger on it. We, we don't know. We don't know yet. They might get there. Oh, he and might. Those uh, hot dog links are just about done. I did something very similar to this a couple nights ago. Where, like I said, I have the bacon ranch. It was so good. You really have all the excess on the top bun, so it's not going quite like the last time I made it, but do I care? No. Yeah, these are done. The bottom one needs to look real good. Now, the brilliance of this is between the ranch and the Frank's Red Hot Sauce, it's really going to give those cheddar chips a nice cheese pull. The cheese is going to be, like, basically liquid. Oh, no, that's that's what the chips are for. The chips are going to replace the cheese pull now. I'm going to take these two bigger ones and put them on the sandwich. By the way, if you're watching right now, please like the stream. If you're not subscribed, please do so. We appreciate it. Liking the stream is going to make this blow up. It's going to be huge. Somebody needs to get King Cobra a food torch so he can just, like, char this thing. That'd be awesome. So he can make a, a, cr a creme brulee someday? Yeah. <laughs> like a, little, a little crumb brulee. I'd love to see Cobra make like uh, bananas foster. Yeah, that would be. We set his roof on fire. <laughs> I think half his of his meat is just bananas foster. Has he put fire in his meat yet? Oh my god! To see if his meat was flammable. Very, uh, very uh, crispy. Yeah, it's looking good. Yeah, it's good. I don't rec recommend manhandling it like that out of the pan. I are an idiot. But that's all right. God damn it, those are hot. Yeah, Ooh, don't wee. barehand them. Use a fork and move them over. What are those, banana slugs? Yes. You can see the coloration on that. It's looking just fucking beautiful. Ah. Now I turned off the heat on the pan. I'm going to unplug it. As that cools off, these uh, other two pieces that we made, we'll just snack on those while we're waiting for the. Uh, if King Cobra made French onion soup, would he have to put Doritos in it? French onion gloop. I, I I feel like he'd have to pack Doritos in there. I'm not sure what else. The the Lucrane cheese. Uh, what would go into it? Would he use actual onions or would he use funions? 
If he used Funyun, he probably should. Uh, French, French Funyun Gloop. Yeah. Is this excessive? Yes. Do you want to see more food hacks like this? Of course you fucking do. Of course. Of course. Oh, he keeps like... We're going to microwave it in short bursts until the cheese melts. We don't want to overmelt it. Now let's see this bite. I mean, there's a breakfast sandwich, and then there's a breakfast sandwich. And this is a breakfast sandwich. Oh, you got to microwave it. it like this is what he needs the blowtorch torch for. The food torch. He'd end up burning down his whole apartment complex. I, I want I want him to food torch all his food now. No. And look at the, the cook of that sausage. The hot dog. Oh, that yeah. Sausage. That looks like something Pumba ah. would eat with Timon. One of the grubs. If you not have cooked your hot dogs, if you not have cooked, <laughs> seriously. If you have not cooked your hot dogs. Every once in a while, I see a comment in our chat that's completely off topic, and it makes me laugh. Sword Lily says, I had a super ADHD moment today and forgot to check the temp of the bath, and my dad basically called me a disappointment. I love our fans. I love our fans. You are missing the fuck out. One second. <coughs> <coughs> Oh, the cheese from the original sandwich is starting to melt onto it. Fucking hell, it's hot. Yeah, it's falling apart. I have to let it cool off. <laughs> I think he's... I wonder if he has, like, these big burn calluses on the tips of his fingers. Because I've seen him pick up shit that is probably, like, 300 degrees... You know, it's it's ridiculous. I've seen a yeah. bare hand so much shit. The cheese didn't really melt onto it that much. It kind of did and kind of didn't. Actually, it did. I can see it. Okay. Nice. Yeah, that cheese definitely melted. I can see it. It's all over the place. It's all gooey, ooey. Also, when you smoke a lot, you get a lighter callus. Yeah, that's what I thought the little thing inside his hand was. How could you get a lighter callus on the palm of your hand? King Cobra. Maybe if you like burn the palm of your hand, you know, like that. Exactly. No, he's insane if he does that. He's a madman. All right. Oh my God. That's that's a what is that? A, is that a biscuit? It's a cookie. Oh, fuck. Or yeah, it's a croissant. Yeah, it's a croissant. croissant. Yeah, it's a, croissant. <laughs> it's a <laughs> sloppy fuck. croissant. Yeah, it's starting to slide and fall apart. We're going to have to let this son of a bitch cool off. <laughs> Josh, Don't go make it. toast <laughs> and put the yeah, croissant which inside of two pieces of toast. It's not my too late. Go messy. make toast. As I was hoping it would be, but, you know, or as not messy, I should say. This one was a little less messy and easier to make, but I digress. Oh, yeah, nothing wrong with that. About this company right here that I've been sipping on the last couple of days. I ordered two big ass bottles of these smoothies in different flavors, plus one of the peach. They were out of the other two flavors, I guess, so they substituted it. Okay, he's wearing his sex it. shorts. He had he had a Zoom call with Jessica. This is a post oh, fat King Cobra. He was he was whacking it. Yeah, into his green juice, <laughs> mango, cherry, peach, and then of course the strawberry banana. They were out of the mango, cherry, and strawberry banana. So they gave me like a berry blast, a peach, and this green one right here, which is 
the green goodness smoothie. It has fruit and veggie. There's, yeah, 13 servings. There's of definitely fruits and carpet babies in front of them right now. 100% fruit and vegetable juice smoothie, kiwi, apple, and mango flavor blend of four from two not from concentrate juices with added ingredients. I might make have to make a meat out of this. No! <laughs> But, so uh, you can't make a mead out of every drink you like. Like you can't. Well, he's learned that when he when he tried to do the uh, the milk the milk based mead. But it's not he just had to that. Stop that one. It's not just the milk thing. It's uh, like. You like this bottle of juice you bought from the grocery store? You can't make a mead out of everything. The man has an embarrassment of riches. He needs to spend 60 to $70 on liquids that he's going to destroy. But he could get so many cases of beer for that I'm much. Saying, if, if, he was, if he was just a self-indulgent person, he would get the... Peach flavored bush. Oh, but he's a set. scientist. He's an innovator. He's he's doing this for the gastronomy future. <laughs> the Bolt House <laughs> Farms has been in business for a hundred years, and uh, I don't know. Could you imagine like a like a gastro pub where Cobra's the chef and there's like. Yes. Giant Cobra Cantina. I've, ever since I heard this song, I've been praying for giant it. Giant <laughs> vats of bog brew, you know? <laughs> a whole lot about this company, but I've been drinking on their smoothies the last couple of days. The Berry Blast was pretty good. The peach one was my favorite. This one's all right, too. You know, it's a nice alternative other than just sitting there drinking all the time, huh? These cool cobras are not a sponsor, but if you see these in the store, I would highly recommend them. You're not going to blend it with ice and a bunch of other fancy shit. Just shake it, open it, and drink. Do we see the brand name? Is that Boglum Farms? I think he said it, but I don't remember what it was. It's got 13 servings of fruits and vegetables per big-ass bottle. So it's a great tasty way to get your vegetables and your fruits. <sighs> no sugar added, so if I wanted to make a meat out of this, I'd have to add a little bit of sugar and honey to it. Sure. I, I've had that kind of shit, like a bottled smoothie. There's so many recipes you could do for the mead, but I digress. It's better fresh, Like I though. said, if you see these uh, Bolt House Farms. Bolt House uh, Farms. Smoothies. There it is. Bolt, Bolt House Farms Green Goodness. Bolt House, like bolt. lightning bolt. Give them a try, man. They're pretty fucking tasty. Like I said, the peach one is my favorite that I've tried so far. Boghouse Farms. People in chat said it's Boghouse, Ben. We re we read like assholes, they say. Damn it. What to find out how this sandwich fucking tastes. Okay. Cobra's got post-sex hair. But nobody else is there, so he was having sex with himself, if that's the case. Josh is there, or Sean Saunders is there. Oh. Maybe Puff came back. All right, let's go. Has it sat for nine hours? So that cheese is melting off. Mm. Ah! Oh, the plate. God damn it. 
<laughs> Trying to look up my mess with the plate, and I'm making a mess all over the place. I love messiness. Got to finish the plate before you start eating the sandwich, right? The Let's go, earlier. King. There's our sandwich, goddammit. Did he just fart? I think he's... He was... You know when you start a race with hold the gunshots? Hold on. Hold on. He had to start. He's a gentleman. Start your engines. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> That's the Boglum War Trumpet. <laughs> Gotta make room. <laughs> that That's... shit is fucking hilarious, dude. <laughs> it's actually part of the, the gourmet process. They call that boglum parsley. You know what I just added to the soundboard? Hey, make that white stuff come out again. <laughs> uh Just a little sprig of bog dust on the sandwich before you chew into it. <laughs> yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He said that right after you did, like a second after you did. Hell, yeah. This is the uh, sauce, steak, and cheese croissant sandwich from Jimmy Dean on steroids. That is tasty. <laughs> My man took a harsh nap after cooking this. Look at Woke him. Woke up. Look at him. And fucking started munching. And then ate it. It is weird how he doesn't like to eat things right after he cooks them. He likes to cook them and then let them settle. Yeah. And then a, hours later, he eats it. A very important part of the Boglum gourmet process is coagulation. Yeah, he does use that word a lot while he describes what his cooking is. It, it must coagulate. There's that food hack to get you a bite. That sausage on the left side does look a little pinkish, I will Which, say. Those things are basically pre-cooked, so it's like there's no possible way that it's raw. Like, they oh, come they come pre-cooked. But it does look pink. You're not wrong about that. Johnsonville does not sell raw meat. <laughs> Really? I didn't know that. Right I had no idea. Yeah, well, break. not in packages like that. Those those packages are all pre-cooked. I think they might have the Johnsonville bratwurst that are actually raw, but they come uh, in a completely different packaging. Mm. I let it cool off a bit. Too long, but I digress. I digress. I, I digress. A sandwich. I don't know. That sausage is looking kind of rough. Those are the fucking cheddar scabs, Ben. Cheddar scabs. What a sexy mukbang we're going through right now. 
<laughs> oh my god. That one was spread <laughs> thick. That was a schmear. <laughs> Uh. I told these trolls to suck my fucking ass crack. I fucking told them. He told them. Man, I wonder if there's, like, is he eating that while smelling his own stink? Because he did not wince. From any of the stink. There was not one moment where he was like, oh, God. Maybe I should have opened my asshole while eating. There was not one moment of that. No. He just popped that bitch in like bon appetit. With a swig of the bog water to wash it all down. And what is this? A drink combo? I think it's just... The that was water. a pretty delicious way to reinvent the breakfast Jimmy Dean croissant sandwiches. And if you like the kind of video, subscribe for more. Hell yeah. Yes. Dude's almost at Someone. 100K. My guy. About to get that silver play button. YouTube. Uh, I opened up the jar of mead last night. I figured let's try a sip of it. I'm just going to drink. Oh, my God. It's that he's about to drink that shit that we saw like a week ago. I I feel like I'm going to puke just thinking about it. All right. Here we go. I got it because I want to make a fresh. Around here, it's no farting in the food room. <laughs> I I am I am I was born in a barn. I've done too much farting in the food room. I I, I there's something wrong with me. But I, I agree with that. You shouldn't do that. Gosh. But I, I do. But when the missus shows up, although I would have preferred she would have kept that a secret, that would have added to the mystique to it, but it's all good. I'm not worried about yeah, he, it. Yeah, what's up with the feminine mystique? Why is Jessica lacking the feminine mystique? Yes! Besides from looking worse and fatter than usual, why is Cobra saying I digress more than normal? I digress. He looks nastier than normal too. There actually Look. is a Mountain Dew mead now. There actually is know. a Mountain Dew mead now? Really? Ooh, we gotta get a bottle of that. Now, Mighty Five, you might not know this because you're probably a sex haver, but guys who have sex... Start using the word I digress all the time. Guys who now, don't have sex or do? Guys who do have sex. So, you know, I digress. It's just something I point out for those watching at home. It's a sex haver thing. Cobra recently started having sex again. So he has to say I digress. I digress. And I got to say this uh, dull juice mead that I made with the pineapple juice, you know. The last, latest batch of me black. It's always like... It's definitely doing the trick. I slammed like half the jar yesterday, and uh, I might do the same today, because <laughs> it's the fun of... If he know, slams half the jar yesterday, the and and then half the jar today, how many jars does he have left, Ben? Second half of it for a couple of days, it, it don't matter. Because I really ain't hurt no one. I make my wands, I make my wine, I make my videos. I sell my tactical soap, I sell my merchandise. I don't think the tactical soap is paying you at all anymore. Does he know that? I don't know. I think people have tried to tell him. Oh, Lori, that is smooth. You get this part of vanilla... Orange, just a blast of orange juice. Mainly okay, the uh, in the chat, Hopeless says he also kills his lizard. He didn't kill his lizard. That was a turning point. The Puff Puff Lizard, the Bearded Dragon Puff, was like an Uncle Ben moment in the Cobraverse, okay? He can't, he can't not live that moment. It's what makes him who he is. Uncle Ben? What do you mean, Uncle Ben? You know, from Spider-Man. Oh, 
I was like, is that some kind of weird, like, I don't know, because I was thinking of the, the guy from the rice bags and everything. So I'm like, yeah, isn't that, isn't that Miles Morales' Uncle Ben from the rice bags? And then the fruity effervescence of everything else that I put into this mead. It's like a wave, a symphony of mostly orange chocolates. Oh, dude, he's just, he's describing it as a wine, similar to being a wine connoisseur right here. Yes. So it's, it's hints he's, of chocolate. He's you a know. sommelier. And vanilla. Vanilla. But then you get all the other flavors. The cherry, everything else. And then when it hits your stomach, it burns like a son of a bitch. I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> Usually booze burns like in your mouth a little bit. Not once it hits your stomach. Yeah, he might be describing the botulism. Y yeah. Turbo yeast is most definitely what's up, dude. If you want to make like really, really strong alcohol at a really cheap price, I definitely recommend using turbo wine yeast. They got like not a sponsor. 48 hour ones that will give you 20% alcohol in like a week. Wow. You age two weeks. And uh, you filter it into a, a clean jar after 12 days if it's got fruit in it, and you're good to go. Yeah, if you get that turbo yeast, and he said one week makes you 20% uh, alcohol content. I don't think that it actually, I, I don't, I don't know. Two weeks is 50%. If you let it sit for six months, you get infinity proof alcohol. Oh my God, you would just take a, a little drop and you die. None of, you you literally can't finish the bottle. It, Would you be it lasts forever? Hold on though. Would you just be infinity drunk? So like for the yes. rest of your life, you'd be like, oh, yes. That's, that's fuck, oh, oh. Okay. So have you ever been infinity drunk, Ben? Yes. <laughs> so how would you describe it to our viewers that haven't been infinity drunk? You can't walk. It's hard to talk. You have no short term memory. Uh, you pee and you don't remember to zip your pants back up. So you walk around with your fly open. Uh, I mean, I, I could go on this. This does not sound like how I thought infinity drunk was. I never been infinity drunk, but someone described it to me. It's like, it's like a jackpot in a casino is going off behind you and everything looks like anime. Oh, well, that too, plus everything I just said. So you, with your with dick hole open? And and you have no short, short term memory. Okay. Because you don't want that shit to get, uh, you know, rotted. And... Yeah. And people are like, I'm surprised he hasn't Oops, died from Jessica the turbo yeast infection. But I digress. <laughs> Essentially, but. <laughs> Yuck. Picking his Yuck. own mead. I'm not dipshit. Because I watch a lot of how-to videos on YouTube, and uh, no dur, I wash my jars and shit, I sanitize everything after each batch. So uh, yeah, there's that. There's that. He sniffs it. <laughs> you know. <laughs> this is some good meat, though. I made this at the beginning of February, and uh, it ain't half bad, YouTube. People are like, I wonder what's the next meetup day going to be. I like how uh, Jessica didn't get any of it. He was like, it's not ready yet. But normally he's sipping on it in between. He didn't want her to drink it. That's the truth of the matter. They weren't Facebook official yet. Or maybe she was like, I don't want to drink that shit. Don't ask me to do it while I'm here or whatever. It was either way. It's like, it's coming. A sip on this me because it's definitely ready, dude. People That's say he doesn't share. Glass. You guys are ridiculous. He offered it to the random neighbor that showed he up. He did. He did. So yesterday, and I was like, he offered it to me. all those underage kids shit. at his Christmas party. Remember? Uh, allegedly, allegedly. <laughs> and then I had another glass of it, and I said, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna make a new batch in March, anyways. So let's just drain this jar real quick. People who are bringing up Jessica's yeast infection. Please, Did she please, really have not, one? Do not talk about the cheese pole on her yeast infection. 
appreciate the uh, fans. We're going to get into her thing with her uh her she's been on the internet forever. The the rabbit hole is like infinite. It's like the it is like being infinity drunk. If you she's fall infinity Dude. And beyond. Sending me cool stuff in the mail to help me make it a reality. People like watching me make my own hooch and they're like, yes, I've inspired a lot of people to get into the hobby of winemaking. It is truly fun. And he did inspire me. You know what you're doing? You do, you do your research. How great would a, uh, a, a buffalo wing mead be? With the buffalo sauce, the the, the chicken broth, the uh, hint of uh, blue cheese. Chicken broth yes, is uh, perishable. People, yeast plus sugar plus liquid equals alcohol. So you could just do it with water if you wanted to make it like a clear shine kind of thing. If you don't have access to like the moonshiners kit, the copper distiller and all that, you know. But there are many different ways to make liquor, and uh, that's what's up. It is a fun hobby to get into if you don't have access to like, some popcorn set and standard stuff. That's most stuff, definitely yes, what's up. Then you can easily make it at home. It doesn't seem like he gets drunk off of it. It seems like every time he's gotten drunk while drinking it, he has to spike it with like Jack Daniels or something. For like a fraction of the yeah, time. Yeah, but totally like watching King Cobra, we all kind of subscribe to his imagination anyways. The majority it, of what, I get what he you're does saying. lives within within his imagination. Like, do we actually think he has wizard skills? No. So, listen to what he says here, though. Uh, you know. Listen but to There this. are many different ways to make liquor, and uh, that's what's up. It is a fun hobby to get into if you don't have access to like, some popcorn set and status type stuff. Yes, sir. Then you can easily make it at home for like a fraction of the cost. No, he's not making it for the fraction of the cost. He could buy like a bottle of black velvet and get wasted off of it and spend so much less money than a bottle of organic honey <laughs> that he uses every time he makes one of these, right? How many bottles unless of... Unless he's using food stamps. How many bottles of cheap like black velvet whiskey could you buy for the same cost as one bottle of organic honey that he's buying unless he has access to food stamps like it, it would it, it, you can't buy alcohol with food stamps no. but you can make alcohol with food stamps it doesn't seem like the the money is or it doesn't seem like the the mead is yielding real alcohol totally legal to make no idea there was that one guy that was in here commenting on his process and he was saying with that turbo yeast he probably is getting some alcohol and he was like a professional yeast maker drink if you are not old enough to consume liquor then you shall be making it at your own risk because i do not condone such activities all these concerned parents who are going to email me like, oh, my God, my kid watched your video and you taught them how to make alcohol. You're an asshole. Oh, someone, God. Our, uh, someone in our fan chat, someone named Seth Looks, says one time I had a yeet infection after taking medication for a case of YOLO. I'm, I'm sorry to hear that, Seth Looks. It's terrible. And I'm like, ma'am, those videos are age restricted. If you're not monitoring what the hell you're Youngins is watching on YouTube, and that's not my fucking fault. <coughs> Blame the artist instead of the bad parenting, right? Especially when that parent's got alcohol in their liquor cabinet now. And then you want to get mad at me because I showed you cool cobras how to make your own delicious hooch for a fraction of the cost. No, it's not. Going to a liquor store or a bar is convenient because it's already there. It's already brewed. Especially where he lives, where there's no tax on it. You know, there's nothing except pay for it. So that being said, making your own wine, hooch, whatever, it takes time. And it takes... Hey, I have a really fun idea for a troll. Let's all troll a, together a ton of money and buy a huge plot of land from the Bureau of Land Management in Wyoming in Cobra's name. 
just imagine if he had like this huge plot of land in Wyoming that he was responsible for. That's such a hilarious troll. Um, I think part of the reason why they didn't drink the the mead that he was making was that people sent him a bunch of vodka and they're drinking these bottles of vodka the whole time. Yeah, they had way too much alcohol. Love and care. You got to put passion into it. My buddy, Ari, my buddy, Aaron, some cool dudes. They tried some of my uh, apple silk meat and they were like, God damn, dude. I swear by that Eric recipe and, because it's Eric and good. Aaron like the apple silk mead. There you go. Delicious. When you find a mead recipe that works, it works. This, however, just burns the crap out of you, and then I'm all right with that. Can you believe a year after Popcorn Sutton Dunn killed himself, moonshine and became legal? I would have been sitting there partying with the devil going, Aw, oh, you motherfucking, ain't that some... Uh huh? That's just what I believe in. I think the devil is misunderstood. And that the real Thank you. evil is in our society, man. So that's just Thank my you. opinion, not that it matters. The real evil is the cowardice of people that are only good out of fear. That's true evil. Speaking of the devil, we got to talk some religion here. Why religion works? Because it's built on the simple structure of a belief system, a place to belong, and the power of the mind. And that's why all religion is the same. It doesn't matter if... You believe in Jesus or Satan or whatever, it's all pretty much the same gimmick, you know. Or Zeno. So I have my own system, and it works. He does have a religion that it's weird because he doesn't talk about it that much. But that's one connection I find that King Cobra has to Onision. They both started their own religion. Did How many you? followers do you think either of them have? Not for their religion, not very many. <laughs> I remember we asked yeah. Onision about his religion that one time he came on DP when you weren't there with TJ and all them. What did he uh, say? I can't remember right now. The people praying to Jesus. I think every for good man has his own creed, his own belief system. I think he has his own values that he he you know he, he lives by. Every good man has that, whether it's a religion or not. Miracle are no different than the people who practice spells to better their life. It's life. The same outcome, but it's shaped differently. Is what I'm getting at. And if you actually read the Bible, there's a lot of references to witchcraft in the Bible, but nobody would believe me if I told them. What? Like, for example, Jesus the Bible is rising witchcraft. from the dead. That sounds like necromancy. He's pointing out Drinking some witchcraft here. Blood because it turned to wine. That, that sounds like vampirism. Eating his flesh. That's cannibalism. And that's just fucked up. That's but you can believe up. what you want to believe, dude. A lot of religion gets a bad name because of... Is he saying that? cannibalism is rich witchcraft because at first he was like oh he came back from the dead sound because originally he was like oh in the bible there's a lot of witchcraft and then he's like oh you know he came back from the dead it sounds like necromancy and then after that he was like he drank blood vampirism. his blood became wine that's vampirism which i don't think that's witchcraft and then he was Sorcery like three and cult cult actions it's like, there, there's loosely it's there's loosely loose connections and then he was like <laughs> and then he was like, they ate his body. Sounds like cannibalism. The extremist assholes, and that's any religion, really. And that's what unites Christians and Satanists, is that on both sides, YouTube, there are people who practice these faiths, and they do fucked off shit in the name of their deific force, and it's fucking retarded, but I didn't say that. 
That's why here at Cobra Colts, we use our satanic powers for this good. dude from the FBI, run. Joe Chip in the in the pleb chat, says, "Man, Billy doesn't even know about Cobes' religion, poser." Dude, I don't know what you do with your life. I have watched hours and hours of King Cobra content. I've delivered top quality commentary for years. If if you have some sort of badge of honor because you sniff around Cobra's underwear drawer, you have some deep obsession with my man, King Cobra JFS, man, that's on you, dude. If this was a competition, I'd beat you, but it's not. So have your have your flowers. Go on. Unless there's a motherfucker who really needs to be cursed. I mean, like, they have to have done some really fucked up shit, you know. You're glowing. You don't live rent free in my head. You Go sit outside on my porch yourself, and beg man. for crumbs. Power to the people. And practice black magic. Yeah, black flame to light my green smoke. Black flame to light my green smoke. Just some cool I shit. I hope you fools who are watching my videos hating on me realize you can't stop greatness. <laughs> Did you hear that? You can't. I appreciate all my fans. Another nice big sniff. Every great force has opposition. The power of the mind is a wonderful thing, YouTube. This is why childhood imagination is the most precious magic. Uh -oh. It allows people to escape into a world of their own without using some form of technology, you know. Okay, right here, right now, he might actually be explaining with 100% accuracy magic. He's, he's saying the greatest magic is childhood imagination. And if he's just running around with his wand, casting it at, at crosswalks Expelliarmus. to get the light to turn... If this is all just excelled childlike imagination and that's the magic he's using, using, then not only is he brilliant and accurate and, and non-delusional, he's living his purpose to, to the, the full degree and, he, and he's seeing results. Man's about to get 100000 on YouTube. He's making money, getting puss, getting of age. The man's getting results. Of age. <clears throat> and fuck sickos. They're the worst. Fuck sickos. I think sickos are worse than my fucking asshole trolls, to be honest. Well... Probably. And what's fucking hilarious about that is I'd rather spend time making my own delicious homemade wine and then trying said wine and then getting a little buzz off of it and laughing at all the idiots who would rather waste their time trolling Cobra and all it does is make it more popular and contribute to the fucking reason why you're jealous of me in the first place. And when they fucking realize that, their heads will... <laughs> Wine. That is some good wine. Turbo yeast definitely does the trick. If you don't got turbo yeast, I would use 1114. You know, it works. And buying yeast packets on the interwebs is pretty fucking cheap. You know what I'm saying? But what about all the other stuff you put Making wine is surprisingly it. simple. You just got to keep your... Shit sterile, you know. A true gourmet spares no expense, whether it be the mead time, is a type money, of wine, YouTube. It is or a education. Honey wine. You had honey, sugar, yeast, liquid it's fruit. True Boom. passions. 
And uh, this uh, homemade mead that I made definitely tastes strong, y'all. Like, goddamn. I'm getting a little pep from the caffeine when I poured the Red Bull in there. I'm straining it. And I get this kick of, uh, just straight, <sighs> dude. This is definitely a 20% mead. It is strong, man. It's stronger than he, most four locals, mind you. He said uh, he drank half the bottle the day before this. Did he get wasted? Uh, I I have no. I'm not sure. I don't know. I've Where's never. Joe? I personally have not witnessed him drinking this on its own. The the stuff Where's he's Joe made. Where's Joe Chip at? He, Joe Chip would know. You're giving Joe Chip way too much attention. He would know, Ben. Myself. Joe Chip, did, did Cobra get wasted off the other half of this bottle, Joe Chip? Nothing against any of the distillers, but drinking your own homemade shit is super cool. Super cool. Chunks of chocolate in there, nice. I'd remake that beat again. That was some fire shit. In my opinion, he's probably drinking rot water, and there's very little, if any, alcohol in it, and it probably tastes like ass. And but he's saying it's good. Do you think it's sweet, or do you think it's gotten bitter from all the rot? I have no idea. Yeah, I, 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 I have no idea. It's, it's pretty insane. Okay, so we are going to get into the history of naked and laughing in just a moment here. Uh, quick uh, intermission as I step away for a moment here, but when we get back, we're going to talk about. We're, we're going to watch a little bit of this video that I haven't fully screened, but it's about naked and laughing in her past on the Internet. So we'll check that out in a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Supreme Boglum Hunter Joe Chip, everybody right here, right now, ask your questions, get your answers. We're Bog face Billy while Ben goes pay. Better not pay for her cam four vid boy. You better not. Sickos. What's my favorite liquor? Uh, I'm usually a whiskey guy. Bourbon maybe. Vulting machine. I love you too. It hurts my heart to know that you have to tell me that. Because you should just know that I know. Love me. Have you ever really, really ever loved a Billy? Oh, Auntie Jessie had Jane on her channel this morning. It was all a troll. It was even a troll done on stream. Damn it. I was really hoping they would have uh, copious amounts of birthday sex when she made it to Casper, Wyoming. Billy, you going to see Godzilla X Kong, the new empire? Probably not. I didn't see the other Godzilla Kong movie. Do you know that uh, channel Comet that's on, it might even be on cable, but it's on like over the air TV. You know how like each channel has like decimal channels. There's like channel five and then there's like point one, point two, point three. There, I'm familiar, but I don't know what Comet is. There's one called Comet that's mostly sci-fi and they they did this Godzilla marathon the other day where they just played every old school Godzilla movie in chronological order. It it was actually a few days. I think it was like a whole weekend. It was pretty sweet. Huh. I just sat there and binge watched that shit. Did you get to see any baby Godzilla? Baby Godzilla. I don't remember that. No. Oh, uh, I always like Godzilla and Gamora. 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 It was good. a turtle. Uh, here's Space Godzilla, Mecha Godzilla, Ultraman. Uh, here's uh, so Billy has always been a long time sweet boy. 
A sweet boy sicko. A sweet I don't boy know what sicko? That means. Can you what does that can mean? you be both? What does that mean, can, Juice? Can you be both? He has to explain what that means. You're not saying you can't be both. Uh, I, I don't know what it means. So this next video was made by Filtrum After Dark is the channel, okay? Filtrum After Dark. Let's see. What a lot. I love every music. I, I love it all. I fucking, well, not all of it. This is but some is this kind, kind of thing about Cobra's lady. So let's, l- let's watch. Toe, I hate you. I hate you. Fuck off. Stupid gutter slut bitch. Hey everybody, what's up? So I decided to make a video on the Queen Cobra herself and her past relationship. The most recent past relationship, which not a lot of people know about. So if you haven't been in girl world or girl world adjacent, then you wouldn't have had much history. So is this guy's avatar a, a Funko Pop? I do believe that's the intent. Okay. Uh, of a fungal pop. Queen Cobra. Did you know T Bob the other night told me he used to live in uh Everett? Oh, that makes sense. I don't think that's true though. I like he ju- is just now telling us that. I don't know. That's weird. Anyway. Did he, didn't he explain been... it pretty well though? I can't remember. We started talking about Everett. Countless years and on the internet itself for two decades at the very least. Before King Cobra, Queen Cobra had a guy and his name was Anthony. Reigning from New Jersey, he has a considerate criminal history okay. with a penchant for beating on and threatening women. So I get Oh no. So these are the <laughs> I don't know. And this is some guy she was banging. When Anthony, well, we can call him Xanthony now because he loves the Zannies. Oh my god, I could use a fucking Xanax right now. I like I love that bitter taste. And then like twenty. So is minutes, this the Funko just... Pop talking or the guy with the Xanax eyes talking? The Xanax eyes. Um and then I'll be able so to So confusing eat. when the characters don't move their mouth but are on the screen. My palms will stop sweating. I can't wait to get the That's the one thing I like about Sean Saunders. When he talks, he moves his mouth. But Cobra moves his mouth while Sean Saunders moves his mouth, too. Which adds a different level of complexity to things. So what we're going to do is we're going to test this shit out. Let's see what's up with it. Oh, he my do- God. He does shower videos just like Cobra. As you can see, my face is hella dry. I try to use a different soap. My sensitive skin can't handle it. It's not tactical ladies, soap. Ladies watching right now, would you rather hump this guy or King Cobra? So I'm going to try this soap, and then I'm going to hit it with the Cetaphil at the end because I'm all dried out. My eyeballs, my little sensitive skin just can't handle the intensity. So first of all, let's see what this is like. And no, I would never drop the soap purposely, right? <laughs> never drop the soap purposely? He has his glasses hanging on the shower curtain? Okay. Also, with your question about who people would prefer, I mean, uh, allegedly, according to this video, he's like a beater, right? So saying some women are into that sort of thing. So Xanthony got introduced to Go World through Jessica Messica of all people and made his rounds talking to several different ladies, all the while living with his baby mama that he was beaten up on. He finally made his way to the Queen Cobra herself, as well as another individual by the name of Luxie. Now, Luxie... So, like, oh my god, look at this. Tonsil stones. Why? Why? Tonsil stones. Why show this in your video? This is disgusting. Took him into her place, and he made sure to mosey on over there because he got removed from his baby mom's place and made Luxie's home his. Now, why was he removed from his baby mama? Well, didn't I mention he likes beating on women? And of course... Okay, you've mentioned it, but can you show evidence? Like, I'm not trying to defend this guy. I don't know. Maybe he is, but you keep saying it, but you haven't shown one thing to back it up. There was tension I'll ex- in I'll New York City. I'll accept it if we take this picture off the screen. At I'll, I'll, you can tell you me this guy was actually Anthony Hitler, and I'll be like, yeah, he is. Let's doom this man. Okay. With NALBK Queen Cobra, all the while giving the Sasha's dick 
to Luxy while oh. still talking to other ladies. This flew the Snake Queen into multiple rages on online confrontations, the shaming, the manipulation, the countless lies, the gaslighting, and the shit throwing of all kinds. With the fallout of what Xanthony had done, he got removed and was persona non grata at Luxie's apartment. And he decided to make his way back to Jersey, of course. Is this like a stalker manifesto? I don't know. His baby mama, of which he continued to unfortunately beat up on. All the while, still keeping in touch with Queen <laughs> is it, This is a picture of him really in jail. Was yeah. he was he strapped to the wall? And the cool Funko <laughs> Pop avatar is not happy about it. No, he looks mad. Sooner than later, more sooner than later, of course, Anthony got arrested again. For what else would you think? Beating up on his baby mama. Okay, thank you. Okay, you showed some kind of evidence. Finally. Jesus. Like you this is only like the tenth time you said it. Uh, and he received a he's 508 inches tall holy shit how yeah, tall is think, that i don't think he's that tall dude <laughs> 365 day sentence at morris county nj oh that's adorable it's a little deer dot gov backslash corrections if you know your party's extension you may enter it at any time for the correctional facility address and directions press one for information on inmate, I know it's five foot eight. <laughs> yeah, you guys, are you guys that dumb that you think Ben's that on dumb? Inmate sales and the records department, press three. For the medical department, press four. For social services, press five. For the programs officer, the chaplain, the educator, oh, or I'm the glad he's got the fucking press, press six, six, press seven, press eight. This fucking affairs, video, fuck you! Seven. You can edit 48 press different phone call pop heads, but you can't cut out the stupid fucking phone call. The, the, the fucking 17 questions of the stupid fucking phone call. Fuck this guy! This video is shit. Warden and captains, press eight. For more options, press. He's 508 feet tall. He's like a skyscraper. Nine. You have reached. Yeah, like, it, I I don't understand how you thought I actually meant that. I transfer your call. I don't know. I'm going to waste your time with this video because I'm a shitty YouTube video maker. What is that so here's accent? 18 minutes. Here's 18 minutes of a stupid fucking phone call. What's the first name? I'm pro sickos right, now. If this guy's a sicko and he beats women, I'm pro sickos. You've you've made me pro sickos. Oh, dude, this is my favorite hold music right here. Have you ever heard this before? Yes. Why are we hearing it now? Break dance to this, Billy. This it's is an edited video. He could have edited any of this shit out. I know. I swear to God, I swear to God, this is going to cause copyright, Ben. No, this shit isn't copyrighted, right? This is a copyright strike. The waiting song is copywritten. You're not allowed to wait unless you call this number. This is copywritten. I don't believe it's copyrighted. Everybody save this clip right now because it's about to get cut out of tonight's episode. It might. Why are we listening to it anyways? It's so good. This is the worst content of all we've ever seen on the show. This fucking guy. You fast forward seven minutes and it's still awaiting. Yes. All right, you have a good day. Oh, hold on. Practice. Oh. Yes. Yes, we have an Anthony Lee. Yes. Okay. All right, you have a good day. That was nine minutes to say that they have the Anthony day. in jail? What, what is the that? fucking stupid <laughs> bullshit is this? If I must say so, the Queen Cobra herself decided to move on after Xanthony got locked up and set her sights on Josh, a.k.a. King Cobra, 
and the rest will soon be history. Now, I will show the chaos that is Anthony aka FTW Blue God and clips gathered from his gaslighting shenanigans and much much more. There's a lot more than this. This is just really shallow but I just wanted to give people a synopsis of Nels BK Queen Cobra's past relationship if you enjoyed this and you want me to oh this is the end of the video we watched this stupid fucking video no 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 there's say that she there's more it's it's only a little more than halfway over dig a little bit deeper and give you a lot more of what was happening with the queen cobra herself <laughs> And Anthony, then please smash that like button and request it. It, it is a bad video, though. In the comment section. And I will do a part two, a deeper dive. If not, hey, at least now you know. Take care, people. Have a good one. Cheers. What? Hold on. The rest of this video is just him working out. If that is the case, then this is like true narcissism. What? What? Hold on. It is. The rest of the video is just him. Hold on. What is. Th Hold on. Okay. Is there other stuff? This is the guy that fucking dated her. This is all clips of him and his fucking emails. I don't know what the fuck. He's just playing random clips. Like. I don't know what this guy's making. But some people get paid way too much to sit on the internet and talk about King Cobra. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know what this video was, guy. I I mean, I don't know. I don't know. So uh, we are going to check out some other stuff got sticky in the chat saying she would fuck cobes over this xanthony guy there you go there you go wow i can turn off a goddamn internet oh don't touch me don't touch me. TP, are they going to touch me? Okay, All everybody, right. as you can see, we have another video here about the naked and laughing ex-boyfriend. Uh, we have a call here. I'm going to play the clip. on. Brrr, brrr, brrr. Press 1 if you want to get connected with directly. Press 2 if you want to go through a different route. Press 3 if you want to check back. Press 4 for the future. 5 for tomorrow. 7 for yesterday. 6 for now. Beep. Yeah, hello. Hello. Is, is 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 Anthony locked up? Uh, yeah, yes, 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 yeah, 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 he is. Okay, everybody, thank you again. Like, subscribe, play the video. I know this is not the biggest content I've ever showed you, but please play the video, like, and subscribe. And remember that YouTube is for all of the entertainment. I did not waste your time at all. Okay, goodbye. Here is this. Here's a Hassan clip that I guess doesn't show the full context. I guess he he was saying jobs where you have to interact with people drain you more than physical labor jobs, uh, which oh. is still not totally true. Uh, let's, let's, let's watch the take before we judge it. Yes, a real job can be gruesome. A real job can make you very tired. But a real job doesn't suck the soul out of you. You know what I mean? In the same way that nine Go hours on. of streaming absolutely will. Oh, agreed. Ben, how many so, times have we done streaming and it was horrible? 
I would, I, I look, all you guys that work your fingers and bones to get a paycheck, all you guys that hammer and saw and lift. What about those people build. that like climb out on like the beams of the buildings that aren't finished yet? Like they walk like a beam that's yeah, only like Yeah, the riveters. Like the riveters. Fi- they're like, it's like five foot wide and you're like those are the 10 stories then. up. They're, they're riveteering. Yeah. They're riveters. They don't. They, they don't understand workers. what it's like to. They're, they're, they they're called what iron it's like workers. To, to stream to people. Yeah. They don't understand what it's like to stream. Oh my god! I might die here. I might die. Yeah. Like, I like, might. You know die those of deep boredom. sea fishermen where like a wave can just come and like snatch them and like pull them into the ocean and kill them. Look. Hassan Piker is a known communist. He's a known multimillionaire chair sitting communist. The one thing about communism is no matter how hard it gets, at least you're not a millionaire sitting in a chair telling people about the video in front of you. I had a bunch of friends in my hometown that were iron workers, uh, but they were like doing crazy. D- I had friends that would like be drunk walking the beams and shit. <laughs> crazy, crazy stories. My father was a but boiler people would maker. die all the- boiler maker. Yeah, yeah, that's a real uh, like I knew I knew some because like m- my hometown was a union town, so a lot of the like kids I went to school with their dads worked somewhere that was like a union based kind of thing, and boiler makers was a big thing. Also. My father would come home covered in soot, covered in black coal. He looked like the darkest human being. He would spend a half an hour scrubbing the the soot off of his body with a bar of lava soap. It was called lava soap, yep. and it was extra strength soap with it was granules. Goth. It was granules that would scrape the grit and dirt off of his face, and he would still... He would still be darker skinned than most people after after because all of the of this, soot because of the soot and the bo- and the boilers when he was working in the hull of ships ship fitting d- d- spraying molten fire everywhere burning himself covered in soot come home singed singed he would come home singed and still Still, that's not a hardest job as streaming is. I know I stream. And then he would go to the minstrel show. <laughs> Front row seat. <laughs> People were saying, uh, are, did he wear Assange blackface? He has other popular Twitch streamers to up his views and revenue. This guy is just a whiny brown hairless monkey. Who has never worked a Whoa. physical labor job in his life? Whoa! Yes, I guess he is uh, from Metro a very. Metro Amorosi says so. What Billy is saying is his father wore blackface every day. God, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, That's, man, that was no nah, man. That was the joke that, I was making. You you don't you don't talk down on the working class like that. You can have your blackface jokes. You can run around and make little kitschy baby bitch, baby dick racist jokes. But some people go out there and fucking kill themselves. They kill themselves. They can have a little bit of fucking crumbs to feed their fat fuck son. Their morbidly obese son (laughs) that drinks two gallons of milk a day. Damn it. Eats a full fucking chicken in between two loaves of bread as a sandwich, okay? You do not talk down on a hardworking man who busts his ass. Are you saying you put your own family into poverty? (laughs) I'm saying we would have been very well off if I didn't have an appetite, Ben. Okay. My dad murdered himself in cold blood every night working in the, the, the hall of the ships. He died and he, he resurrected just to come home and buy me milk and cookies. On the third day. Uh, here's come, uh, He resurrected just to buy me milk and cookies, man. Here's a, here's a video of Sturge just getting interviewed, and the guy asked him what inspired him to start his channel. Check this out. 
So how do you, how were you inspired to do YouTube actually? Uh, well, actually, I mean, I, I was just like, eh, I'll just give it a shot. I was kind of inspired by, you know, those bigger channels like Nerdrotic and Geeks of Gamers and Air July and many, many others that are kind of like those channels. And that whole inspiration of like, you know, if one of them, you know, if one of them somehow loses it, like they lose their everything, you know, you have more channels coming up kind of taking over because, you know, they're like, oh, they'll get older and, and then won't have anybody left to talk about the culture war stuff. But I mean, <laughs> so this I got it low. This is low intelligent conversation. Yes. I mean, in all honesty, I just wanted to just put out a review for ISOM one. I wanted to cover that beginning of that comic, you know, company. It mm. all really started. I just wanted to kind of keep up with it. And then it just kind of evolved into this whole journey of like, Oh, here's all <laughs> the haters. Here's all the detractors. Here's the, the crap that they talk about. Here's the lies that they like to spew. And then it just kind of devolves into, well, you're a simp and you're a, and you're a ball hugger and you're a, you, you hang on Eric July's, you know, nutsack. And it's like, huh? <laughs> it's crazy it makes how you like go, yeah it kind of makes you go so you could talk negative about him and it's all good but if i talk positive you the thing is is if eric july does something right i'll say it but to you eric july can do no wrong ever you will never concede eric july had a misstep you're a fucking cultist for eric july that's why. That's why people call him a simp. I'm a simp? Okay, so I have three statues up here of all Castlevania. Mm -hmm. For as much as I get called a simp, right, for, for liking Ripperverse, I said, I have three statues here. So according to your logic, I'm a simp for Castlevania too. Well, how many videos do you upload simping for Castlevania too? Because we don't care about what's on your fucking shelf, dude. If we care about all the stupid videos you you upload saying, uh, today we're going to read the numbers for this uh, comic book by Eric July. It's doing very well. Uh, and when Eric July wins, I win. By nerdrotic and geeks and gamers to make his anime <laughs> action figures bang each other in the butt. Oh, I guarantee you. Essentially. I guarantee you if Eric July made rip of her statues, they would get re they would replace the Castlevania ones. What would he use those to butt fuck each other instead of the other toys? Essentially, bud. Holler if you hear me and welcome to uh, this edition of Art on the Road where we are here at my table at He has a fucking table. With his art at the Great Lakes nice. Comic Con. Moving on up. What do you think the that table costs? Great Hunter Lakes Mike? Comic Con. That is a correct. You have been working your muscles and minds to deal with streaming and live perform ace. Billy is comedy and performance plus. Ben is relative personal and supportive. Glanderson Booper. Glanderson Booper. Is that a horoscope? What was that? We want to see a little bit of what's going on with what I have set up. Well, just take a good look at what we have here at the top. I wonder how much he sold. And you move around and see down there, the more we move and the more you see some. Oh, I was like, what's this good shit at the end of the table? That was the next table. Yes. Somebody else's stuff it's in yep. there. And we've got something fun for everyone. Yes, there's Marvel, there's DC. It's like a regular back issue of Wizard Magazine from 1994. And you see a little fun in there. So that's Look at not all that all. fun. There is also the work on display right below for everyone else to see. <laughs> Does he and have remember, a little donation jar for autism on the table, too? <laughs> It's the typical, like, bad Kendall art. This is only the beginning. This is only my table. Plenty of others, as you see, are still setting up, it's still going around. Beginning. But there's a lot more, because remember, this is you getting inside look at what a convention appears to be before those doors open. And one thing about this show is that they are smart. Yeah, so we got an artist pass because he obviously he's allowed to get in early because he, he has to set a up a table. Yeah, yeah, yeah enough to have the day one open you no know, later in the afternoon the show does not open until 5 p.m what, what is so, it michigan uh yeah. uh yes grand, grand was 
he Great Lakes, what he said. Great Lakes Great Comic Lakes. Con. It, it probably yeah. is like in Detroit or something or uh, somewhere. I mean, Great Lakes is a big area. A magic key versus tables are usually three hundred dollars and up, though. I can't speak around for Salt Lake here. Comic-Con. Around here, yeah, yeah. I've I've seen I've seen uh, three hundred and up at some pretty reputable ones. Uh, the lower ones, I think around a hundred bucks. He probably, his dad probably kicked him whatever money he needed to do this, thinking he was going to give him a. It's in Warren. It's in Warren, Michigan. Well, that means that when things start off, you actually get I something. I'm going to where you Comic Con, and I'm sure that their tables were cheaper than three hundred bucks there. It was a small Comic Con. Warren, at the Red Michigan Lion is a su- Warren is a suburb of Detroit. It's like north. Detroit. You can see everything ready for him to go. Says his father did pay for it. See, including the man in the blue shirt back there, Mr. DeSantis, who runs everything. Yeah. The question is, does he make more money selling shit than the cost of the table? Of course not. The question is, did he sell one thing? I need to know if he sold one thing, and if he did, was it to his dad? Around here, Roger Wilkos' eight-foot table. There's one hundred and seventy dollars. There you go. Yep. And while you're here, there is something for everyone. Of course, there's Star Wars things right here. Like Yeah, so Amanda, if if you want to sell art at a con, you go to the Midwest where the tables are cheaper. Yes. And, and sell and your you, shit there. And if you want to turn the tables and just go there and buy art from Kindle. Uh, our Carbonite buddy. And it's a Gundam. I will say these videos are better than his usual ones because he's actually react. He's not just like vomiting. Uh, just like he's just like spewing nonsense, you know? Well, it also helps that he's in public. So he probably has a little bit of embarrassment. So he's a little hesitant to fully go into his crazy manic autism spells. Yep. But no, not that guy who's obsessed with Dark Side Phil. We have the actual <laughs> Gundam right here. Wait, he might be getting comfortable. And, well, there's also... But he's doing it in short clips, and he's changing subjects. Usually, it's like a, 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 a nonstop flow of nonsense. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's changing subjects, but he's not changing facial expressions. Of course the not. Subjects in the background are changing, but it's just this white face. He does he's an like, emote. And then back with the, the background's changing. Scott Thompson felt straight one night and impregnated a lady in America. We know this. Plenty of Batman for you. The animated series all in a row, including our popsicle evil friend there mr freeze and marvel stuff too these old little paperbacks that they would use to reprint marvel comics in black and white you've got this one you've got one of the uh, conan a classic initial barry windsor smith conan issues stan lee presents conan that there is the one we've got another conan this also looks like a barry windsor smith cover right here oh yes roy thomas and barry smith yeah, he hadn't gone by the hyphenated name quite yet, but he would eventually when he got back into the business. And if you're the kind of gentleman that enjoys maybe some more pro wrestling, there's plenty of variety right here, including a current mayor and his autograph. It's funny because Kendall is clearly a big wrestling fan, but when someone told him you were into pro wrestling, he shit on it and talked about how it was like not real fighting and stuff. But it's like, you obviously like wrestling, so why are you... He owned me. I guess. He absolutely destroyed me. also, the man right there, and besides our good friend Hogan, we've got this little program with the Macho Madness and the Misses. And there's plenty more in here, including even some uh, nice little signed 8x10s. Like uh, this Stacy Keebler this little lady right here. I bet you all she enjoyed dated some George Clooney right for a while, right? So he just made a comment like, yeah, yeah, she was dating Clooney. He, I feel like he feels the need to posture really hard that he likes women when he really doesn't. Just throwing that out there. But yeah, Stacy Ke- Keebler, like she had legs that were so long it was insane 
And it was funny because WWE made her famous. She was on WCW first, but then WWE made her really famous. But then she was on Dancing with the Stars, and she got so mainstream famous from that that she, like, didn't come back to WWE and started dating George Clooney and basically did her own she's thing she's like after six that. feet tall that's makes her legs but it's yeah it's almost all leg longer it's crazy yeah. leg <laughs> like leg length and probably torso length too like if you look at this picture she has like a long torso also i'm not sure if wrestling? uh i would say kendall's not into women i think it might be some weird spectrum thing that makes him over uh focus you on and them, scott though. should debate this um, because he thinks Kendall's like straight up gay, like totally well, in denial of. Maybe, maybe I'll give it to Scott then, because isn't Scott also straight up gay and in denial? So he could be focusing on the camera, just the items he wants to show, but no, he has to show his stupid face at all times. Yes, a little bit of uh, tism and narcissism. But I remember this game and really loving it. Army Men Sarge's Heroes, the strategy guide. Very nice. Tin Hut. And we've also got toys like Hero of the Rock. And now, uh, you know, Ding Dong. Is that the Rock? That's the worst looking Rock. He looks like a fucking, like, trauma films monster. The hair. That does not look like. That is a terrible action figure of the Rock. Horribly ugly. Uh, the paint job is, is about as dinged up as what the rock's insides are like from all the HGH. But that's not all. There's also this rock right here. Uh, well, that's China. Looks like the stuff of nightmares. But there's also the ultimate war. <laughs> there's also the absolute <laughs> worst so incarnation. Funny if you would do wrestling catchphrases but didn't know any other actual catchphrases, and he was just saying the wrong catchphrase for each guy, that'd be so fucking funny. Why is he not doing of, that? Of uh, The Undertaker, the biker, American badass version rolling, of Rolling, 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 rolling. But we got this guy right here, uh, Bubba Ray Dudley, ready for battle because his body's on backwards. Then there's the old-fashioned LJN toys. Yeah, I remember the LJN, like the big hard rubber toys. Like our Hogan buddy right here. Because, uh, let me tell you something, Mean Gene. And that's not and the, the only one. the smaller ones with the thumb holes so you could thumb wrestle with them. So got uh, uh, Nikolai Volkov here. I don't remember what his catchphrase was. And we've got Sting. Okay. Wow, well, Surfer Sting. Yeah, that Sting. Is that Sting? Yeah. Yeah, that was like Great American Bash Sting, I believe. Looks like Mork from Orc. No, oh, that was Robin Williams. He had a bull cut, a brown bull cut. Let's see another one. We find a macho man. Well, uh, pretty sure if you pull the string on the back Jesse of that body, doll, it right? goes nanu nanu. I had this exact action figure when I was a kid. The Jesse Ventura. Did it hurt? What do you mean hurt? Well, that arm feels like it would hurt when you're trying to stick it up your butt. I didn't stick it on my butt. Right here, but oh yeah, it's not shit! What you, want. you want the macho madness? I found the macho madness right back there. Now that is the Macho Man. He's contractually obligated to have a toy like that come with a Slim Jim. And sometimes there's a long tarps you've got to go and walk past. Like this gentleman down here. <laughs> this guy's yes. trying to put his fucking booth together. And, and fucking Kendall is just tism peeking at him. There he is. There's <laughs> the man down guy. there as we move our way around. But there will be more to maneuver through. All in the name of something that's a nice little treasure that only is for $15. Uh, the uh, Mandarin spawn looks fun, isn't it? And our boy Deadpool right here. Physically here, tangible, real. Unlike the gender pay gap, Ooh, this that's is real. mint in crack bag. I know we got some Power Rangers fans, so here is a little ranger. If we can get his head around, it'd be styling. And we've got a gold ranger right here, because go, 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 gold ranger. He's damaged, but he's worth it. We are also in space with a That's big how red I one. Right my ex boyfriend. He was just itching his nose with it. Pretty he, fucking weird. He picked up this action figure that's for sale. He didn't buy this shit. And he's scratching his fucking. He's damaged, but he's worth it. Right here. 
He scratches his nose with it. We are also in space with a big red one right here. He's got to get his $170 worth out of that table, Ben. And There's no way he's selling shit. Black. He's got to run around and itch his ass and nose with everybody else's stuff. Back right there. And it's the kind that you can go and do the thing where you switch the heads. Oh, yeah. See? Oh, and it's an original one. Yes, it's Walter Jones. I had one of those when I was a kid. The flippers. Yep. So that's nice. How much do you like aliens? Because... Uh, I've got one right here. That's a nice, big, sinister quadruped that came from these buckets. And the buckets here are only $3 a piece for one of these toys. Only three for this baby with that little tail right there. Baby. Uh, it looks like it came with the mouth inside the mouth, but that mouth broke out. Again. Damn. That's why I said about my ex -boyfriend. And don't forget, there's plenty more to see around here, including... Marvel in DC for just 50 cents. Thanks, man. Thank Good. you. Thank we'll, you. We'll be seeing you around for sure with this man's work all over the place. I hope so. But besides Artist Alley, there's also the major comic book guests that are going to be here. Like, uh, for those Ninja Turtles lovers, they've got one of the legends of Ninja Turtle comic art, Mr. Jim Lawson. A man who worked on the uh, with the Eastman and Laird as they abdicated artist duties in order to focus on the business. They did stuff like, yes, that famous Ninja Turtles cover. I find other artists that were at this convention and see if any of them were talking about the weird autistic guy that put a bunch of fucking uh, drawings down on the table and then walked around to bother them the entire convention. I, right, yeah, yes. I believe. Can I get an interview for my this YouTube one they channel? They worked on that was uh, then the cover for the original Ninja Turtles and yes, I believe said, this place is so empty. This is the day before it opens up. This is just yeah. setup day. Yeah, yeah. That is Jim Lawson's work up there, along with the other one you see over there. And also, Noah Hathaway, you might remember him a little uh, as a Treyu from NeverEnding Story. He's not here yet, but yes, uh, if you're a NeverEnding Story lover, that Treyu has come. But uh, unfortunately, no Artax or Falcor, as far as I know. Dude, if Falcor shows up, this is the <laughs> best <laughs> the love dragon. ever spent. And if you love dark horror, dark whatever like that, long before Spawn or uh, the... I love how he's getting videos of these celebrities that are there that are usually like you're not allowed to film them. And Crow, there was Faust. And yes, welcome the creator of Faust, Mr. Tim Vigil. That's where his uh, table is going to be as his work right there. I believe that's his work getting unpacked. And Faust is stuff that's pretty hard to find. But hey, I got some Faust artwork with me during the show. So you'll be seeing a lot more of that very, very, very soon. Very, very, very soon. Christmas may be off, but our friend here, Rudolph, he's got his 60th anniversary going, so we still have him to celebrate. And longtime Jim Henson artist, working with Jim Henson Studios, Mr. Guy Gilchrist. Yes, worked on many Muppet productions. He's also here. And yes, that is Kermit right there. Also got some other regulars here coming in, and they're setting up their table oh, as shit. we speak. We'll be seeing more of them Who's later. Who's that drunken peasant back that, there? <laughs> uh, here is a little bit of what they've got with their other table ready to go. Now, we all know the world of wrestling. There's a lot of guys and a lot of big egos. But now you know why all the way off in this corner where they have a, a big velvet rope ready to go is for uh, Eric Bischoff right here. You know, the man who, ah. who will keep on talking about those 83 weeks he beat Nitro, but still wound up working for Vince McMahon anyway. And, well, he's probably just glad that he's not being implemented in those uh, accusations that are out there currently. He probably whoa, had nothing whoa, to do whoa, with them. Whoa. The city of Detroit also has its own publishers and comics and working for a long time. And Caliber Comics right here, very well known. They were the original publisher of The Crow back in 89. And although that was creator-owned, so James of Bar is taking other publishers, there's still plenty of other things that they've done in prose and in comic books over the years, including one acclaimed military comic called Vietnam Journal that I would recommend. Let's see if they have... Oh, yes, they do. Right here. A little bit of Vietnam Journal. And everything here that they've got at this table is $4 off the uh, list price you see on the back. So, let's see. 
$16.99 minus four, you got what it is that they're making over here. And since Don Lomax, you've got a guy who actually did serve during that time, so it would be interesting to see what it is that she has to say or what it is that he's doing about the whole incident. And what would a major Detroit Comic Con be without the Detroit Ghostbusters and their big ass. Uh, the Detroit Ghostbusters? The Pop Marshmallow Man right there. He's a bit of a big boy. And there's going to be a lot of big boys coming here as we move on back to my table and show you all Those where we are going to be for the next club. few hours. Because uh, I will be the one who will control all you see in here. Much like our friend Jim right here. Dude, but Jim beyond that, there? Huh? I am his corpse. Well, then, thank you for watching. Subscribe so my channel will hit 10,000 subs. Do not only been dead for forget 30 to years. go and uh, become a member today. The membership started $2.99 and shop on my art store. The second link below, you'll see that I have color art and pen and ink art. I also have sketchbooks and trading cards for sale. And also, you can commission me. But besides that, you can also donate to my store. Donations are the first thing you see. Any denomination is accepted. And if you want to buy or commission from outside of America, just add up what you want in U.S. dollars with another 25 U.S. for the international shipping. Anyway, um, yeah. We need Jim Henson to come back from the dead and get into the sex toy industry. Uh, Jim Henson would put Bad Dragon to shame. By the way, I want to show everyone this. This is the guy that Isom was Hold based that. on. This guy's from Toledo? Do you yeah. know this guy, Ben? No. Gerald Isom, 49, was sentenced to prison for selling fentanyl to six people who believed they were receiving cocaine, resulting in the death of two of them. I had a friend, uh, or uh, I actually had a family member that died because uh, they thought they were doing cocaine and it was fentanyl. Yeah, I've had so many uh, friends and family have this happen to. It's happening like ridiculously often right now. It's really bad. It's really, really bad right now. Yep. If you do cocaine, you probably should stop. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's it's it's, it's like I, I hate. I, we need to legalize drugs. We need to get so you can get the the real to, shit. Yes, so that we go to the store and pick up a little bumper sniff from from a, a source that could get sued if they let this stuff happen. Like this is this the like, nobody cares if like, a couple people die. What's, what's really going to happen? Yeah. We've had deaths for decades off this stuff. Maybe not decades, but over a decade. Yep. Over a decade of fentanyl death. And nobody's doing shit. It's just me and fucking uh, Jelly Roll crying. Crying to everybody. And nobody listens to the fat guys. It is impressive, right, that they, they go these links, these great links, to make things about themselves. Look, I am all for, I am all for, and, I, and some of you guys, if you've been watching my channel over the last week, you know where I'm going with this. The best literature in the world, right, has historically, regardless of the intention of maybe the, the writer or artist, has some sort of like real world relatability. And people sure. can say like, hey, this is... Um, um, and it's not limited to color or anything. Oftentimes and most times it's just in sheer experience. Right. And like that can you, you can relate to this narrative. You can relate to this story. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And it whoa was, hold it, Didn't we watch these guys earlier, but they had shittier cam quality and and not not as cool toys behind them. Oh, that was Sturgis and the other guy. Yep. Yeah. Funny watch. But he's not white, bud. He's part of weekend. somehow. A narrative float around first it was oh, oh it was about about like more so black people and their experience and then a recent new phenomena right and by relatively recent i'm meaning like literally in the 2000s <clears throat> the x-men all of a sudden were specifically created to i'm so pumped for x-men 97 to come out uh yeah, Mar I, march I saw, 20th i saw someone complaining because morph was non-binary what a fucking hill to die on. I think Morph you're gonna is just, complain. I don't know about, I mean, like, I guess technically he's just like, and draw, like, he's just a nothing. He's a nothing. Well, yeah, but they, they said he was non-binary. That's, that's what the, the, in the, in the, the press release or something. Yeah. 
they, they say, and, but it's like it's like who cares? It's fucking morph. He <laughs> does he not morph into like men and women all the time? Yep. Like this, yep. wouldn't this be a great character in all the in all the <laughs> in all of media to give somebody the non-binary title? It, isn't Morph kind of begging for Morph it? Morph was a character they created for the 90s X-Men cartoon to kill off anyway. Did they create Jubilee for the 90s cartoon nope. too? Nope. Okay. No, Jubilee was around before that in the comics. Gay people. And anyway. it's like, all right, if you're gay and you think that, uh, uh, you know, being ostracized or something like that is is something that you experience. I mean, look, maybe a little bit of dramatization. But whatever. But to then hijack these these and, and that's the part that gets me is the revisionist history and the hijacking of this, this this whole thing where it's like, no, this is us. This was about us. This was wrote to be about us. These groups of people were uh, mutants. Right. They're, they're basically the same as gays. And it's like or they were created to be that way. It was an intention that was placed upon them by the by the creatives. And, you know, I could show receipts as long as CVS saying, well, that's just not true. And it doesn't matter. Like I okay. say, it's, another, it's one thing to say, OK, my experience has been this and I relate to them. Right. And I, I've said this before. This has been a device uh, in storytelling quite literally for centuries. It's kind of weird that all of a sudden, like people not liking you um, for who either you are or who they think that you are is somehow now exclusive to black people or now it's somehow exclusive to gay people. And it's like. Did the Salem witch trials, as an example, was that not a thing? Like, did, like over the course of like quite literally human history, people for various reasons have been either ostracized or let's say uh, penalized in their existence just because they were a thing. Or again, in some cases, people just lied to make it up. This is not any. By the way, I just looked it up really quick. Yeah, the the character Morph was literally created for. The X Men animated series, uh, and they did it so they didn't have to kill off any of the actually established characters. But the character took off, and then uh, it was incorporated into all sorts of stuff after that. So that's kind another of another cool. character, another character that was created uh, for a small part that ended up becoming big, uh, not in the Marvel universe, but Steve Urkel from Family Matters. Was only supposed to be in a one-off episode, but then he took over the show. Thing that's exclusive to black and/or gay people, right? It's not. It's something that many different people are going to find some level of relatability to. However, as we've seen, unfortunately, with agents again, I call them that purposely. Agents yeah. of this of this community, right, which is largely corporate, they hijack shit and they say, "Well, this is about us," mm -hmm. and it has to be about us. And if you if you don't agree, even though there's been conflicting reports, if you don't agree that Morph is now non-binary, then you don't know why they created the X-Men. It's like, what the fuck does that have to do with anything? Like that, that you, you, you're, you're Some people say it's the character Kevin Sidney that first appeared in the X-Men in 1967 as Changeling. But I don't know. I As Morph... They were uh, that character appeared in the X Men animated series, so I don't know if there was a gap, but buys in history, and now you're gaslighting us. Mm -hmm. Oh, gaslighting Eric is, is a sexual is the 100. The X Men were an allegory for people of colors and LGBTQ people. People like him were the antagonists in the stories. I mean, 100. The uh, X Men were an allegory for civil rights. Yes, uh, the, the early X Men in the 60s. It was a civil rights allegory. And in the 80s, they adapted it further with yeah. the uh, homosexual struggle, Stonewall. They, they adapted it with the Claremont run because that was something that was socially interesting at the time. And they didn't do it to say, hey, here's our team of people of color. Here's our team of gays that battling. It's, it's like, hey, we notice struggle. We're going to write about struggle, but instead of writing it about people of color or gays, we're writing about mutants. We're going to take these same levels of struggle and you can adapt to it no matter if you're a person of color or a gay or whatever, because we all go through struggle. That's, that's the whole bit. You look through all the kind of replies from, from what I posted. I could just literally go gaslighting, gaslighting, gaslighting. Do you know? 
I got a, I got, I got one from somebody trans identified female, and they said your life would be so much happier if you just stopped being uh, outraged about everything. And I was like, holy fucking shit! Boy, you, you, you don't want to say that. <laughs> Proje projection just a, bit, just a little bit did you look in the fucking mirror when you wrote that did you look in yeah the but mirror? here's the difference well, between uh between your delusions and their delusions your delusions are about a fucking comic book their delusions are about whether or not they fit into this world okay so you can you can cry all you want about your your comic books but they have to cry about the fact that People like you don't want them to take a fucking piss. That's, that's, that's exactly what we're about. Gaslighting, projection. Um, it's the same thing. And he has a CM Punk shirt on. Heel versus Babyface. Also, of course, they, you, yeah, you get his the, name is a wrestling Yeah, I almost never right? see him talk about wrestling, but I don't think CM Punk would agree with most of the shit he says. Not at all. So, no, uh, CM Punk has multiple times supported trans people rights and told people who talk against them to shut the fuck up and they're not wanted. Interesting. Okay. The far left tactic of shame. We got this. This guy dares dares speak out against the the uh, the stars. That, sorry, uh, the the pride flag. Uh, he got to he got to be. We got to browbeat them down. Got to browbeat them. Nah, 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 nah. I, I, nah I, I, I don't give a fuck. I was playing video games last night. <laughs> I was playing video games and, and talking to, to real life people because uh, mm -hmm. uh, that's that's what I do in my life, you know. While you're going fucking chicken oriental on on Twitter, because what does that mean? what does that mean? Yeah, yeah, right, <laughs> right. Chicken oriental, he said. Where, where's our resident glowy? Could you could you tell us what chicken oriental means, please? So, I feel guy. like just saying that makes me our part of the problem. I just wants to buy some cheese and a ribeye without having fifty eight thousand fucking pride flags shoved up his ass, you know? Right. I don't think that's. I don't did think he, did too he much have fra those flags shoved up his ass? He recently complained about all the pride flags at the grocery store. I didn't know he had to shove up his ass before he was able to buy his steak tartare. That's the, to let people just shop. No without fucking that's far left rational. ideology shoved down the throats, you Look, know? And it's so corporate. Like so this so, is this like, another let's, let's thing about homophobes. They're the only ones that see a nice juicy cock and imagine it being shoved down their throat. All of us gay accepting people, we walk into a room and there's a gigantic succulent dick. None of us are thinking about shoving it down our throat. They shove it He's down our throats. Yes, every weird homophobe is like, oh my God, they're shoving this dick down our yeah, throat. Why is it no, always just, the shove it down our throats thing? Why just, do they? It's just a dick. It doesn't have to go down your throat. None of it has to go down your throat. You can just walk the other way. You can not pay attention to it. It's not that big of a deal. A gay pride flag, a gigantic succulent cock. These aren't these aren't things that get right, shoved like down it, your throat. Why do you imagine it being shoved down your throat every time? It's it's like it's orchestrated, right? It's all orchestrated and it's corporate as fuck. This isn't some like organic movement, bro. No. Like oh, this is just some corporate uh, BS. It is qu quite reasonable for anybody to be like hey bro when i go to fucking to get like some steaks i'm not trying to be bombarded he with also all has kids. transformers on the shelf behind him and they are literally trans wow they are formers. called yes. out okay shit called like, that's out. a reasonable why are you trying to push that trans agenda that michael bay transformer agenda you sicko it doesn't mean you hate gay you would people. think you would think, but right. apparently it means you do hate gay people. You are anti-LGBTQIA. Uh, well, I'm no, definitely you are not... anti-LGBTQ because you go to you run to Twitter to post about how they're shoving it down your throat when it's just a few fucking flags next to the cash register. Ally, because being an you're ally the one declaring war on that statement. Fucking people it's like just you. Just some fucking flags. You, the... They probably had a couple advertisements for I don't know chewing tobacco. Did you run to, uh, online and say these sons of bitches have chewing tobacco advertisements on the wall? How dare they? No, because you're the one making this a fucking issue. The last thing on planet Earth I would ever want to be. <laughs> I just want to make that absolutely clear. But it, but it's it's the binary nature of these these people. It's the black and white of it. Right. Um, I, you know, I, I would have just gone to a supermarket and buy food. My, my criticism is about El Corpo. Yeah. yeah Not gay absolutely. people. El Corpo absolutely. ramming this shit. 
But again, because you're fucking gay Twitter, you make it about you. Because that's all you fucking can do. Because that's your existence on the platform. You made it about you by complaining about it. You know who didn't complain about it? The other 10,000 people that walked in and bought a steak and left. Everything is utterly and always about you. It's not about (laughs) about hating gay people. It's not about being anti LGBTQIA2 plus spirited. One, two, four, five, six, eight. I'm I'm going to go out. I'm I'm going to to say something that I would never say if I didn't want to prove a point, okay? I hate gay people more than this guy does. But I don't complain about them, ever. You know what I do? I hate fuck them. He's not doing anything good. He's actually trash at hating gays. If you really, really hate the gays, hate fuck them like I do. Pussy. And it's about El Corpo being, oh my god, hi, I'm Corporation, and we're just like to say we're an ally. Yeah. What the, what the fuck does that mean? It means that please don't fucking bomb us. Yeah, no, when, it, when it hits them down. Man, if somebody gets mad, please don't toss a brick in our fucking uh, yeah. establishment. Yeah, because now everyone's got to make it about themselves. Got to make it about themselves. And, and, and how are you ever going to get acceptance when you don't just... The way to get... <laughs> Who does the tossing the brick? Like, where does that happen? Can we see an example? Are we talking about um, Spider-Man, uh, No Way Home, when uh, they toss the brick through the window and uh, Daredevil catches it? It's so corporate, dude. This guy is paid by the blaze, a corporation, to pretend to Ding, ding. Him. God, man, Eric is such a dweeb he doesn't even know how to commit to the grift. God damn, his existence insults me. And by the way, dot executables, your ban has been revoked. You can join the Discord again. The link is in the description. Just be yourself. Just exist. Let's talk about. Let's talk about. Everybody Morgan can join the Discord for a second. When Morgan Freeman was was uh, uh, taught, when when they, somebody asked him about Black History Month, a month which he fucking hates, by the way. Yeah. Uh, and he said, "You know the best way to deal with racism? <laughs> Stop talking about, about race." It. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's how you, that's how you you start to to deal with acceptance is you start stop talking about the superficial characteristics of that person mm-hmm. and start to judge them based on the quality of the character. But yeah. we're living in a, in a in a in an age now where the superficial is perceived as the important element by the yeah. by the people who are running the show, the entertainment industry, the comic book industry, El Corpo. <laughs> it's what is the superficial element that we can tap into. To, to try and virtue signal, to try and to, to, to woo, woo, woo. Look what we're doing. And the content of this person's character is getting absolutely flushed down the toilet. Mm-hmm. I am sure there is, there is now, a ton of... We are going to virtue people. signal about our side of things. We're going to do our virtue signal all the time. We're going to walk into the store. We're going to see our little rainbow flag, and we're going to virtue signal about it. Well, I, 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 would, have- I, would, I would allow these sorts of discussions to have some merit if they weren't completely driven by assholes doing the asshole things they're complaining about on the other side of the asshole spectrum. Monetize your haters. A great time with an ad love. Do you know something? I think there's a ton of gay people I fucking couldn't stand. But that's not because of the, the fact that they'd be gay or black or a woman, or whatever it is. He hates gay black women. Because it would be based off the content of that person's character. Right. Make content of character great again, you superficial wankers. It, it, it's so fucking <laughs> bad, man. Um, like, on this this topic, man, it's funny, because, you know, obviously with the Riververse, you know, we, re- we, re- we recently went through this. It's like, it's so bad now that people don't even know what it looks like when like a company doesn't prioritize any of that shit hey let's go up to somebody for a, a tweet they made six seven eight years ago uh, hey, over a decade let's, uh, that uh, let's go yeah let's go up to somebody for a, a film they made 20 years ago um that's not that's not genuine outrage that's fake that's manufactured right. that's cancel that's pig. bullshit yeah that's cancel pig bullshit yeah you know uh somebody's told you an opinion and you're too weak willed you're too fucking wet uh, to to say, well, I, I let me just think about. It. Let me put this into some sort of context. No, all right, um, all right. So 
We're going to go a little bit longer. If you guys want to see the stream go a little bit longer, I would ask that we start a tip train. Maybe we can get to 25%. I do have a video that I would like to watch uh, that we could watch on the extension of the show. Guest goes nuclear on Jesse Lee Peterson. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Gazoon tight. Uh, yes, I had a uh, orgasm. Yes, a face orgasm. Sp spring is spawning right now. By the way. <laughs> We still have uh, 17 more days of Yara winter. Or is it 21 more days of Yara winter? I said if we could get through February without snow, it, we wouldn't have snow this winter. And today we had the first snow I ever saw it, it, in my area anyway where it, where it actually stuck to the ground. We've had snow a couple times here that stuck, but luckily it wasn't a big snow. Yeah. Yeah, we had sticking snow, which I haven't seen. I, I saw, like, falling snow a couple times, but today it's stuck. We had, we had, like, a few hours where it was really white and uh, the ground was covered, and then it, like, melted by the afternoon. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy shit. The snow. <laughs> My Polish Julia Rule says, I want to see ass eating in a dumpster behind a Wendy's. Well, then you got to go to Casper, Wyoming for Cobra Con. My Polish nose is out of control. I read that as Polish nose. I thought they said you had like shoe polish on your nose. I do. I was, I didn't, I didn't notice it. I was, I was at tripping. the minstrel show. Front row seats. Are you going to play that video you were talking about or have your has your brain reset on the sneezing? No, I was saying when we get to 25 percent, but I don't know. Oh, I could just play it. You know, should we just should we just talk and tell people send in money? Yes, oh, I was trying to do you, that. I missed the discord. Oh, it's because anyway, you started sneezing. So I didn't know what was going to happen. Get fame being this dumb. Able to get fame being this dumb. Uh, well, he tacked on to Glenn Beck's The Blaze as a, uh, a, a, a wonderful representative of a certain type of community. That was the first the time I saw him. We watched those videos. There was, I, it wasn't the Nick Fuentes one where Sidney Watson took him apart. It was the one where Sidney Watson and that guy with the long beard. The Jack Dorsey. Something. Not Dorsey. Murphy. Murphy. Jack Murphy. Murphy. Yeah. The fucking super cuck that tried to say he tried to sell people fifty dollars subscriptions to how to be a man, and it came out uh -huh. that he had all these weird videos of him just getting pegged and destroyed and having his wife ran through by other people. I'm pretty pretty sure it was weird like yep. that. We're at twenty percent <laughs> now. Five to go. We're almost there. There's another show tomorrow and another show after that. Oh, uh, you know what? Dot X says the the Discord link has limited invites. That's not true. I don't know. He's saying he can't get in with his limited invites. I wonder if anybody else has an issue with that. That's not true. Uh, I think he's he said for one of us to personally invite him in his DMs. I think he's trying to get us to slide in his DMs. Yeah, yeah. I see your tricks. Hold on. Um, I want to play something for you, actually, that I just remembered that I had forgotten that someone sent to me. Please start a tip train, though, and keep the, chip, the, the tips rolling. I'm going to download something really quick here. For those of you watching at home, this is the part of the show where Ben and I try not to fart because a we're mic too would quiet. not pick up my fart right now. Well. If it gets too quiet, you never know. I'm always worried whenever I sneeze or queef or fart. Or queef? Yeah. They call me Chief Queef. Chicago Chief Drill Fat. Chef Coef. 
check check out what he says jf what he says in this video right here listen very carefully and then i was struck by someone raising the theory on twitter hey it's true that taylor lawrence was supposed to be the journalist who doxed libs of tiktok under no circumstance would i of course you can't dox me because i'm uh I'm already a public guy with my true name, but if I was an anonymous person and you were to be a journalist of the New York Times that doxes me, there is no circumstance under which I would make an interview with you. Uh, there is only, in fact, one circumstance in which I may be interested, which is if I have the impression that we will get a moment alone where I have the occasion to chop your head wrap your body in plastic and bury you in a place where I can never be held accountable for the murder. And it would be clean. But if what, that doesn't happen, I don't want to meet someone who doxed me. What, when, 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 when was this recorded? Recently. <laughs> Isn't that... Isn't that what we were suggesting he did to Mama JF? Yes. And now he's just OJ if I did it. OJF Gary Epi. Well, he's talking about somebody else, right? I don't know. Venom says, what am I missing? This man, JF Gary Epi's uh, girlfriend, Mama JF, went missing. The police were outside of his house for a long time. Uh, questioning him, following him as every move. We have not found her yet, and now he's just casually talking about beheading somebody and burying them in a place where they could never be found. A clean getaway. I am beheading them right now. Yeah, yeah, he is a he's a true psycho. A true psycho boy. See. I don't know whether or not this is just him being edgy or brag braggadocious about getting away with murder. Because I feel like he's the type to do either. He's the yes. type to troll and say some edgy shit, but he's also the type to just brag about, openly brag about something he's done. I agree. I have no idea. I don't think I, I don't know if we're going to get to the 25%, which is fine. But he looks like he looks like if Guy Fieri took a wrong turn and instead of going to Flavortown, went to Racism Junction. <laughs> Not Ravertown, though. I don't know if he ever went to Ravertown. He's got no glow sticks. He doesn't He's have a sideways uh, visor on. He does not glow. Raver Town. Uh -huh. All right. Taylor Lorenz is a mega bitch, though. You know what? I'll, I'll just give it. We'll we'll just do it anyway. Let's let's keep it rolling. Damn! Look at that. Everybody watching at home. It must be Christmas. Oh, <laughs> uh, you know, late Christmas. You are a diversity, equity, and inclusion leader. Can you explain to me what is that and how does that work? Yeah, so that means that, again, my focus, my, my learning laboratory is the workplace. So I roll into organizations and I ensure that black people, that people of color, that women, that gender minorities, that sexual minorities, that people with disabilities are being treated respectfully and appropriately and fairly within the context of the workplace. Protected categories are protected for a reason. And a lot of people are, you know, when people are actually keen on hiring folks from these demographics, because that's the first hurdle, 
a lot of organizations don't have any of these folks represented. If they actually do hire folks from, from underrepresented demographics, um, they'll, they'll, a lot of people will hire and then tokenize, hire and then tell them to go sit down and shut up. We got you for the picture on the annual report. We got you for the picture on the website. Now don't contribute. And those microaggressions are not at all insignificant. Like people are, are, are you know, making stereotypes and talking about how people talk, how people dress, making, you know, making racial implications and comments, things that are inappropriate in the world, much less the workplace. So my job is to go in and I quantify like I do metrics and my company is the only company that can actually quantify diversity, equity and inclusion and then create a metrics based um, accountability system for making sure that we close the gap because black people and companies all across this country and all around the world are often having a very different experience from white people and companies. And even if you just look at the organizational chart, you often have the most diversity at the bottom of the pyramid and the higher up you go the more white and the more male the organization becomes. That's not always I wonder happening why that is. on purpose, but that fact limits the ability of black men and women and Hispanic men and women and queer men and women to have the opportunity to be successful, to thrive, to feed their families and to live into their best lives. So my job is yeah. to knock down those barriers and make sure that people are having an equitable experience. Amazing. When does everybody Amazing. else get generational wealth? Amazing. When does everybody else get generational wealth? I didn't have any. Ben, we're I... white. We've had it. We've had it. We've had it for generations. When when does everybody else get generational wealth? Hey, um, I know truckloads of businessmen and women, but mostly men around the country that they don't want to hire black people. Foreigners who have come here as well. They don't like hiring black people because the blacks are so much trouble. They are always complaining. They show up late. They think that everything is racism. Anytime you have to correct them. And so a lot of companies don't like hiring the blacks. And when they, when they, <laughs> get, just, I got to see her response. I swear to God, if she just <laughs> cuts, cuts the interview and leaves like he did when H3H3 asked him if he was gay, I'll be so disappointed in her. They also are concerned that when they let them go, they're going to be sued for being called racist, right? Because the blacks think everything is racist. And so they are trying to the bless. avoid hiring black people. So if you don't correct the blacks, the blacks, why would anybody want to be bothered with them? So ascribing those particular uh, attributes to black people only is super problematic because you get people of all all races in organizations who complain, who show up late, who don't do their job, who sue you when you, you mistreat also get them. People of all races that are not rich too. So those are not characteristics We're of black all not rich. People. The amount of rich people is so fucking small to put being rich on a color is about as racist as saying this color's not rich. But it's, what most, you're, it's, what you're, it's well and alive in the black folks though. Well, it is well and alive in all folks. That yeah. is well and alive in all folks. Listen, I'm an organizational development specialist. I have a doctorate of management in organizational development. I'm in organizations all over the world. And I can tell you that statistically speaking, all over the world, those are management issues that show up in all races, in all genders, and in all sexual orientations. They show up across the board. And what you're describing is... You're, what you're describing is the conscious bias. It's true because um, Jesse's like, a lot of people tell me this. Yeah, I mean, like, anyone can claim people. a lot of people tell them of something. Ostensibly white people you're talking about who don't yeah, I know wonder how who tells them this. Everybody who watches him? Because they, they're like, he's one of the good ones. Yep. <laughs> with, lead, manage, or interact with black people across differences and inspire the kind of behavior that they're looking for. You've got to actually create... Yeah, she's like the worst of the worst to them. ...create a culture of intention and decide how you want people to feel and experience... I can't tell if it's the lighting or if her hair is partially dyed blue. ...experience their day-to-day... -day it's work blue, yeah. Work yeah. Life. Green, and blue. if you can't create that home. sense of... Belonging, ...to match her glasses, right? ...longing, that sense of... ...could be. ...of engagement. 
you get that sense of inspiration, then you are every bit as much culpable for how people are showing up in the workplace. But why not train the blacks how to act? Why not train the blacks how to act? Right. Like what you're saying right now is illegal. Read him saying blacks as blouse, it was so fucked up. Rather than, put in, rather than putting the responsibility on the owner of the company. No, that's what you just said is illegal. Why is you that? You cannot train why, the blacks. Why is that why illegal? Why can't you just teach the blacks how to act rather than put it on the owner of the company? He's just the owner of the company. He shouldn't have to run his company. We should be able to teach the blacks how to act. <laughs> Holy shit. That's not, you have, it, what, if you are offering training, you have to train everyone. You can't make assignments by race like that. There are, that, there are, <laughs> there, there but, are laws but, but that. But here's the thing. White people already show up acting white. So yep. why would we waste our time and money teaching the whites how to be white? I like how we you said it. The blacks I like how, how you. To be white. I like you pronounced it. Akin, Akin white. Akron, Protect Ohio, Akin against Ohio. isolating groups Akin for, white. for purposes like that. You can't do that's like you can't just hire people. You can't hire people because of their race, because of their gender. Well, no, I'm not talking about the company training them. Why don't mm -hmm. you your job want to switch your role? <laughs> no, right? no, not the company. You being a black woman, why don't you teach the black people yeah. how to be white? Because you, you should very start a black right person now. training center. I, I see you've already been tra trained act into acting white. So you teach these other blacks how to act the way you <laughs> act because you're a very white acting black. And then putting that responsibility on the companies, why not train the blacks how to work, how to act at work? That is, that is an absurd notion. Oh, it's, why? It's hard to train them. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> That was the end of that video. That is an absurd why is on to drain him. He is <laughs> really good at the same four. He's got four beats, but he doesn't fall away from any of them. Yeah, and he and can if always you, reel right if back you to take one of him, his four beats. If you take him off of it, he gets mad and leaves eventually. Like uh, like yeah. with Gazi Kozo too. He did it with uh, well, us yeah, too. Yeah. He did it with us when I mentioned Gazi Code. So he started like looking over at his people, like what yeah, the so fuck? So we're is gonna it? have to go. I gotta go do a whole new um, episode of my own show now. I gotta run, guys. He didn't just cut off and leave, but he did cut out. Yeah. After that, he was like, like what the fuck? Well, he 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 was acting like he didn't know who you're talking about. He's like, well, I, don't, I don't know who that is. I don't yep, know who that is. Yep. He knew. The one cool thing I like Jesse Lee Peterson uh, is uh, he could he could be so fun at a at a gay orgy, right? Like even if he wasn't gay, he'd be sitting back there watching and commenting and making all the like he'd be nagging everybody else in the gay orgy. He'd be like, "Why you got your butthole open like that? You don't need to be spreading that butthole like there's that. No, that's that's nasty." He'd be great even if he wasn't just a gay twink guy. Hmm. That is amazing. A, amazing. So everybody, we are going to wrap this one up. We will see you all next time on the show. Have a wonderful night, Bye. everybody. Good night. In the beginning, there was nothing. And then there was the Drunken Peasants Podcast. Drunken Peasants. Drunken Peasants. Drunken Peasants. Drunken Peasants. From the strangest corners of the internet. Gonna get TP'd by Billy and Ben. You know where you can find them at. Get ready cause they're gonna kick your... Drunken peasants, drunken peasants, drunken peasants, drunken peasants.